Hi everyone, Paul Ice Sam, welcome to Friday Night's Live at the Ben Show. So it is our build night tonight. Um, so you get to sit back with us, do some building, a bit of chatting, a bit of whatever you want to do. Uh, as always, if you've got any questions or whatever, pop them in the chat. We'll read them as we get through them through the night. Uh, if you've got a question, put a question mark in front of it and we'll pick them up when we do probably Graham's bit and a little bit questions for the crew. Um, although it's a build night, we've still got some prizes. We've got a couple of UMP goodie bags to give away. Uh, one in Dan's section, we looks at all your work on the Facebook page and the forum. Uh, it's not still too late to share on the forum. You can go over there. That one stays open. Facebook's closed. Uh, but if you want to share your work you've done this week, you can go put it on the forum still. Um, through that, you guys and girls out there will pick your favourite build of the week. And the winner of that will win a UMP goodie bag. Um, we'll just do a random giveaway throughout the night. So all you've got to do is pick a number at random. We do a live random number generator. And you win another goodie bag as well. Um, we've got Graham doing uh, questions for the crew and also what we've been buying for the week as well. And tonight we've got Scott with us. Uh, Scott Irvine, it's his 58th birthday today. It was kind, actually got his birthday right. Uh, he's joined us to open his birthday pool present. So there'll be an absolute butchering of the birthday song at some point in a little bit. So that'll be fun. Um, sadly, we've got no John Sharp tonight. He's mad busy at work. Um, but... Um, are we missing somebody else as well? Graham? No, don't think so. We just look short of people, I don't know why. Must be imagining it. Anyway, we've got Graham with us, we've got Dan, we've got Norman, we've got Sam, we've got Scott, we've got Tim, and we've got me. Uh, Tim is away washing something at the minute. Graham's <laughs> um, <laughs> only washed his, he's back. <laughs> no regrets, Graham, no? Stop it. Uh, <laughs> uh, Norman, say, how are you, Norman? All right, mate. As you, not bad, mate. Not bad at all. Just wash me hair, so yeah. Giving you, yeah, a good dry. yeah. Give it a good yeah, dry. Eyebrows. Have you got one? Yeah, my eyebrows. Have you got one? Got one. What? What? Yeah. What? One hair. Yeah. Oh. Random. Are you random? How are you, Dan? Tony. Uh, I just want to look at that cup. Look at that cup there. That's lovely. Oh, that's a belting cup, that one. One of a kind. I'm cream cracker and I can't wait for next Friday. Excellent. Uh, Andre, where's Andreas? I don't know. I haven't spoken to him tonight, isn't he? He hasn't appeared in the chat. He normally does. He's busy, I'm betting, blowing snow. Mad busy making snow. I prefer Dan's term. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> making <laughs> snow. And there's Tim. You finished washing, Tim? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, we've, got, we've still got three people with cameras off. Sam, are you there? Yep. Hello, Sam. Hello, Paul. How are you? All right, man. Not too bad. Oh, Santa's... Oh, Scott, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. How are you, Scott? Are you okay? Uh, no, 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 no. I would happily sit on Scott's knee. Ah, uh, come on. Wow. <laughs> 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 this conversation before. Yeah, no regrets about that one. Scott, you haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you're not going to this evening. <laughs> what, haven't, what, haven't heard, what haven't you heard about, Scott? Nothing. Tim, sort your light out. Tim, sort your light out. Uh, do that. Indeed. Ta-da. Oh, there you go. You're looking rough tonight, Dan. I uh, feel rough. It's, it's that upper lip. It's that upper lip thing, yeah. Well, I can't be arsed and I just don't have time. It's as simple as that. I'm amazed it grows, to be honest. Well, <laughs> I'm amazed it grows, Tim and all. <laughs> That's been a bit windy today. I thought it had blown off. It's, it's, no, it will froze to my face, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, is your section busy tonight, Dan? <clears throat> uh, it is quite fairly busy, to be fair. There's a couple of pages on forum and 25, I think, on Facebook. Mm, nice. Excellent. So, what about you, G? Yeah, I've got quite a lot of purchases, I believe. Um, not I'm so many questions. Did, speak. <laughs> not so many questions, but we've got a few. Uh, what about you, Tim? Is your section busy? Oh, yeah. I've got all of uh, no slides. So. What do you mean? Oh, I know. <laughs> Everyone get ready for Christmas? I am. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, Damn. I forgot about the lights. Yes, I'm pointing. Uh, I haven't got any lights. Can... Oh, look at that. Oh, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, for those watching now, there's hundreds of watching now, make sure you tune in next week. It's our pre-Christmas show. Oh, it's, yeah. It's not to be missed at all. Nope. Make sure you tune in. 
I'll try and get some special prizes together. Um, and we'll see what we can do. But make sure you do not miss next week. It's going to be a Christmas cracker. Oh, it really is. Um, yeah. As you can see, Tim's really throw, uh, rolled the boat out this year with the decorations. <laughs> yeah, there you go. One single decoration. Excellent. Oh, my tinsel fell down. I, I should know, that's what I'm saying. It. Hang on a minute. Um, um, as we can see, um, Graham's full of Christmas cheer. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 Graham. Oh, oh, oh. Too. Yeah. Uh, uh, all I'm going to say is hope you will make more of an effort for next week. Well, um, this is my bedroom, so I can't really. Um, you could <laughs> you could tart it up for the night. Yeah. Well, I possibly could. Yeah, I'm sure you can get a twelve foot Christmas tree in there somewhere. You, you could tart up for the night. Yeah, well, on the room. Room. Just you tart up for the yeah, night. Yeah, just put some Christmas decks on you, earrings, tinsel, mustache. Oh, we already got that. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say I've got a bag of balls somewhere, but that one just started. <laughs> I'll go with your bag. Of oh no, hang on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice, Tim. That's right. Um, right, so uh, I think what we'll do, we'll read the chat and uh, then we'll call it night and go. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll read a little bit because my throat is killing me. Um, right, <laughs> don't even bother. <laughs> right, I'll bury Graham in a heartbeat and he knows it will. Can so. say anything? I heard you laughing again. No. Uh, I, I can't talk. I've got something stuck in my throat. <laughs> oh, I had regrets about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, Meatballs <laughs> and Bobbinson. So that's funny, Graham. Uh, says, good evening, all. Uh, John Stone's there saying, welcome, Slade to the Plastic, to this week's modelling and banter extravaganza. Hope you all have a great evening. You and Sadler Fingers. Oh, evening, Sam. At least knows who you are tonight. Yeah, thankfully. Uh, Adam's there. Good evening, guys. Everyone as well. His mojo has really disappeared this week. Hope it comes back. Hope me too, mate. Uh, Powell says evening. Um, Scott's from Mother John's there. Saying greeting all. Scott Chasney. Hello from Maine. That's Michigan, isn't it? Maine and Michigan? Uh, Boston, isn't it? Boston's Maine. Maine, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Brian's there. Good evening, everyone. And no picking on Mr. J. Yeah, we don't pick on G. Yeah. Um, Gift is there, saying good evening and all. I know you didn't see that. New capitals. Uh, Adam Barber's there, saying evening, fellows, plastic cutters. And Gift is there, first time he's ever been early. Wow. There we go. FX there, saying hello. I accidentally deleted Mr. Alex Hillman for five minutes. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Back in. Oh, well, no. Uh, <laughs> Steve Bremner's there, saying evening and all. Hope you're all well. Hello, mate. Alex Beebe's there, saying ho, ho, ho. Even all from. Clangerland in the Black Country. <laughs> Clangerland? Yeah, minus one there. It's about one and a half here. Oh, uh, so all well, well and a good week. Uh, Steve from Southport there saying hello, all plastic fanatics. Hello, Steve Southport. And a good evening to Paul and the Sprue Crew. Hello. Uh, somebody called Tim's Desk Landon's there. Hello. Oh, oh, good. Do that again. I've got to do that again. Well, Anthony Mitchell's there saying good eventing all. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've invented a new Christmas look. Yeah, he's, he's reinventing. Uh, Events, not Tom, invented. Good evening, everyone. Hey, bench says, hello, fans of the plastic things. There's a call one tonight. He sent the bench instead of the pub. Sounds like a plan. Brain saying, good evening from Sherwood Forest, wherever that is. Spence B says, good evening, Gaul. Mike Tynan. Or t is it Tynan or Tynan? Tynan. Tynan. I'd say Tynan. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't mean a lot. Yeah, it? That, that uh, even, who's a noxious fume, so all good. Norman D's in there saying hello. David Powers says good evening to all the crew. Oh, David. Hello, uh, David. Hello, David. David. says good evening, everyone. Hannah says hello as well. Hannah. Hannah. Happy Christmas, Hannah. Over to Tim. Oh, hang on. Right. Caught you off guard. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm well up to date with what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Modeler, hello, everybody. Tony Naked Modeler, evening, everyone. Smooth Workshop, I like cake. I like cake as well. What sort of cake do you like, then? Anything you can inhale with your fingers, eh, Tim? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I like cake that does, does that sort of thing. Poke it right to the back. I was having a strawberry tart today, and I got it all over my fingers, and guess what I did? 
<laughs> I licked it all off. Oh, oh my 12 year old I... brain's kicked in just then. <laughs> <laughs> in tinsel in the mouth. A great and gracious good evening to all. The war general evening, everyone. Hope everyone has had a good week. Hi, Chris. Hopefully, Chris will stay awake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mark Scale model. Hey, Paul and the crew and all. Uh, James Garvin says Christmas cake. I love Christmas cake because I love marzipan. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chris Pryor, good evening from a cold Brixham. Hope all well. Hello, Chris. Mr. Matthias Rex. Hello, everybody. It's Friday. Hello. Friday. Uh, James Buckingham saying good. James Buckingham saying good morning. Oh, yeah, because he's down. He's right down there, down the bottom, isn't he? Um, oh, yeah, this is a good point. Steve saying, oh, are we going to get some Christmas carol singing from the crew tonight? No. No. You might, you might do next week. Maybe. If you're very lucky. Mm. I've just looked around and Tim's wearing a hat. Oh, no. What? <laughs> I'm doing something. I look around and can see this thing with blue tinsel around his head. Can you got balls hanging off his chin? I was just going to say, I'm more concerned about the balls hanging off his chin. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. The first time. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. 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 You usually can't speak when that happens, can you? Yeah, at least Tim tried it. I've held it together. I've held it together for you. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> there shall be singing and animals will be. Uh, oh, oh, Mr. Question from Jeremy. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do for for you? How do I get to the hung after the show? Mm. How do you hung out? Yeah, you have to pay extra for that. <laughs> I don't charge. Um, in the description below, Jamie, there's a load of links. There's a link to a modeling hangout group. If you go join that, we'll let you on, and the links go in there afterwards. Yeah. But after the shows, it normally fills up, doesn't always, but it normally fills up instantly because there's loads of us like watching them normally, and they're all that gagging to get in here. Um, but it's still worth a go if you want to try and get in. Afternoons are good, but I think you're in Canada, aren't you, buddy? And did those stickers turn up yet? Because if not, I'm going to resend you them. That's been forever. You sweets for them, did you? No, um, Jamie very kindly sent me. It is Jamie Garvin, isn't it? Who's talking? Yes. Very yeah. kindly sent me one of his shop cards. Oh, Ooh, nice. I sent him some UMP ISM stickers, but it was ages ago. And a very nice note on the back as well. Cheers, buddy. Lives up there. Look, with all my personal stuff. I've got a little boy in there. There you go, up there, everyone. Um, and they've just gone missing. I believe there's been a postal strike in Canada or something that's caused chaos. That'll be them uh, legalising cannabis. Mm -hmm. yep. um, everybody's, everybody's eating chocolate and crisps. They're all at home getting mashed. You guys stand up, Jamie. I'll get you some more on the post, buddy. I will. Right, let me carry on. Right, carry on. Right, Norm Dean. There, Norm D. There shall be singing and animals will be harmed with tonight choir. Which, an which animals are going to be harmed? Harm, no. Yeah, the, the, we know it's lots of things. Oh, well, uh, there are lots of things to get harmed then. Uh, King Dan saying, evening all. Hello, evening, Dan. Oh, Hello, Dan. Hello, Dan. Bones, hi to the crew, and Graham too. <laughs> Graham. Hello. Uh, John M.W., hi, guys. Model in the Shed, good evening all from Shed in Scumpool. Hello, John. I called you the wrong name, then. Mm. <laughs> hey, Mika, evening all. Ban Bonsai Warrior, evening from Munich. Oh, evening, you're German there. Well, I'd imagine he's German, but he might just be in Germany. He might not be a German. Uh, Split yeah. models, hoping to get more work done on the bench tonight. Uh, only day off this week. Hope you guys are okay. Oh, nice, Stuart. Never, why are you only having a Friday off? Must be a busy man. Dan Cook, evening, guys. Feeling festive and loving Bono. Not the only man doing that. My four-year-old uh, brain's running over. Oh, mine, Dan. That's why I started to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Rook, uh, good evening to all. Martin who? I just said, uh, I thought it was Rook. It's not the way you skimmed through it. <laughs> Martin Rook, good evening all. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, yeah, Stuart saying happy birthday, Scott. Uh, Metropolitan Lion saying, hey, people. Hi, Frey. Hi, Frey. Hi, Frey. I was going to say Frey, but then I know what I'm like. Yeah, we've been having... Like, Oh, help cards for Tim. 
what they call who, idiot who, cards. Who's yeah. who? I need some flashcards to work out who people. That was the word I was looking for. There you go. There you go. Uh, Strowman saying, yeah, happy birthday, Scott. Model officer, evening all late in. Oh, let, 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 let me early out, boy. Um, you, missed out, you missed out Matt playing with his pipes. Oh, I thought, anyway, sorry, Matt, yeah, what's up, everyone? We'll have to watch the replay in the middle of some plumbing work. Oh, not good. Ooh. Rich Matt, Matt, 58. Yeah, yeah. 58. Oh, good luck, Matt. Yeah, good luck that. Um, Invy, good evening from Austria. Evening. Uh, yeah, Hannah's asking where's Andreas as well. We don't know. I haven't heard from him for at least a week now. I thought I made that video today. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, not funny, but well, funny for us. Disturbed. Very. Uh, Claire's saying hi, everyone. Hi, Claire. Uh, smooth, uh, smooth workshop. Someone mentioned cream crackers. Yeah, um, we're, we're all cream crackers. Oh, yes. Always. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Get on. Come on, Tim. Jo Joe, Jow, Jow Maria Perry. Per what the hell are you? Perrier de Costa. I can do the de Costa. Joe Perineum. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with that. Uh, Anna, I'm speaking from Portugal. Sorry, I got your name wrong. God, how did you, how did you do this first bit? Is that just Joe? I go with Joe, yeah. I would go with Jow. Yeah. He's not from Birmingham, all right, Joe. Oh, Peter Phelps, good evening. All hope, all is well. Oh, Peter. Um, Brian, uh, Alex Hill, Mr. Alex Milman, thanks to oh, Brian Milman. Milman. Alex, Alex, Alex. Thanks to those of you that helped me out this week on the Facebook group. Things are coming together well now with the decals. Good stuff, mate. Keep the water up, Alex. Regardless of what people say, trust me, it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've decaled more this last year than I ever have in my life. Yep. Um, and I know it works. Um, VR46 scan models, Bjorn Grunling. Uh, good evening, all. Hello, Bjorn. Uh, you're saying great video, Paul, showing the splash paints. Thank you. Yeah, the splash versus the, the um, zero paint. Very good video, Paul. Thank yeah. you. Yep. Uh, oh, it skipped. Go on, G. I know G will be on the ball. Go on, G. Uh, Andy Callis says, hi, guy. Hope everyone is doing their best to stay off the naughty list. Uh, Trying not to well, stay on it. Apparently not. But anyway. <laughs> Jazz yeah. Malkin says, why is Roger Whittaker on the show? <laughs> are, you are you leaving old Durham town, Scott? <laughs> Scott, you should get close to the camera. <laughs> Give us a whistle, Scott. Put the blunt down first. Uh, yeah, he does. So we had... Um, who did Andy Callas look like last time, apparently? Andy Callas looked like... Uh, Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent, Ted that's Nugent, right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Uh, Willie Mark, oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi to all in the chat this Friday night. Sing along, Graham. Ding dong, merrily on high. The crew <laughs> are styrene manipulating. Ding dong, merrily on high. Graham has no sense of crimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <clears throat> Dan's trying to get me to sing Band-Aid. Uh, <laughs> David Powell says, Merry Christmas to everyone and me. Why, why am I so special? Many reasons, uh, Graham. Yeah. I'm uh, not going to tell you. Joe's model kit says hi to everyone. A very Merry Christmas to all. Hi, um, Sean pulled his message out. David Watt says, Good evening, guys and dolls. Hi, oh, David. Mark's happy bench. Good evening, everyone. Happy holidays. Um, Austin is in Massachusetts, apparently. So Matt says, Vile Shane says, Bar humbug to one and all. Yeah. Solidarity, brother. <laughs> well, Master Toy Maker says, Something clever. Oh, okay. Uh, Daz, Mr. Stella Monster. <laughs> Hey, Hi, lads. Have a hey, good show, and thank you for the Panther Rye Field model kit. It's a cracker. Excellent. Your little dancer. Your little <laughs> dancer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Evan Smith, the battle against us, US geography is alive and well in the UK. I say, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. 
That last message, Evan, was from Dan. He's in County uh, Daz, he's in County Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Crystal Eagle. Our, our country's only this big. Our co yours is bloody massive. At least we've got an excuse for not quite understanding where everywhere is. Anyway, the Crystal Eagle says a very good evening to the crew and chat. Another good evening ahead. Oh, uh, evening. Glasto Billy, even all it's cold, snowballs, nice. Too much information. Steve to totally scale models. Totally. Says, <laughs> says evening, gents. Christmas dinner for 200 hyperactive kids all done for another year now. Oh, put a suck in it. I hope it was a total <laughs> success, mate. Yeah. Probably best for four for next year, move on. Yeah. Um did, were those sausages whole or did you have to snip them in half? As you... <laughs> I hope you nailed it. <laughs> anyway, you'd have to bone up on some recipes for next year. Oh, uh, Ashley... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ashley Kras. Uh, Ashley Kraz says, hi, I've primed a 170 second scale Focke Wolf 190, brush painted two coats of grey acrylic, but I'm too nervous to paint the pale greeny colour on the fuselage in case I paint it too thick. Um, I assume you brush painting, put a bit of water in your paint. Yeah. You should be fine. Do unless you, do unless do you use enamel, of course, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, do multiple, multiple thin coats. Yeah. yeah. Just thin and it down, mate. And a, and a wide-ish brush. Yeah, yeah. Yes. three inch house brush. <laughs> <laughs> just get a yard brush yeah just if it's an if it's acrylic maybe it's umbrella acrylics oh, put, a bit of, put a bit of water in if it's uh enamel don't put water in put some thinners in uh brian windmill says hi to hannah jay skullfish evening everybody hello mate hello, jay. uh steven skoda says hello i wonder what he drives oh. jmcg says hello hello uh, <laughs> Matt says Tim looks like he's out of a Dr. Zeus book. He doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, That's a normal look. Who does? Tim. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Steve says he's going to make a Christmas cake next week. Should you not have made your Christmas cake already and be pouring like brandy or something in it now? Uh, John Howell says, good evening, everybody. Steve says, there's somebody bagged Tim. Mr. Gav says, evening, model fans. Hello. Derek Down Under, good morning, crew from a humid Australia. I'm just waiting for his Christmas party hangover to arrive. Good night. Uh, John Heavens, Hello Scale Models. Evening, Paul, Norm, Dan, Sam, Tim, Graham, and Santa. Norm? Oh, Norm. Sorry. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought you were eating, I thought you were eating something, John. Norm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jamie Garvin says his stickers haven't arrived yet, maybe next week. I'll send you some more, aren't we? Uh, Evan Smith says, morning to what's called rainy uh, here while he slacks off work in WA, which I think is probably Washington. Or uh, Western Australia. Yeah. No, because he's, you know, he's already said that we don't know anything about American geography. The Mofo Damon says, hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Rob B says, hi, all. Martin Ropker, don't butcher my name every time. Have I got it right, Martin Ropker? Yes, I'm going to say yes, Tim. Uh, uh, Richie <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul Castle says, hi, crew. I'm the Grinch, I think. Mean. Mm. Hello, Ricky. Uh, Scott Shorey, evening crew and viewers. Best holiday wishes to all. Hi, Scott. Hello. Merry Christmas. Uh, Andy Callis says, wango tango, whatever that means. Um, Brian's uh, saying he hopes Crystal Eagle's well. Yeah, uh, that's a good. <laughs> Jiff Jaff. <laughs> Says special request, please don't let Graham do a Scottish accent again. That is two weeks now, and my ears hurt, and I die a little inside every time. Well, I've just seen your question, so right, I, mean, I you can tell you something. You've heard nothing until you hear Graham's Scouse impression. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Go on, Graham. No, um, <laughs> come on, Graham, you'll regret it. <laughs> Dan Cook says a little thing with a kilt eating haggis. I've never heard of a kilt eating haggis. Are they different from regular haggis? Um, Martin F says, hi, guys. Uh, hi, Crystal Eagle says, uh, I'm getting stronger every day now, Brian. Thank you very much. Two weeks after ops, so hopefully cancer-free now. Good stuff. Glad to hear. 
Glad to hear that. Uh, Keith Carrigan, good evening all. Hope everyone's well. Thank you. Punch is there, says hell. Oh, hello. hello. And Andy says Ted Nugent. Oh, yes. Wango Tango's a Ted Nugent. Uh, hello, hello, hello. And hello, hello, hello. Evening all. Andy Morris is coming with his trunching out. Yeah, it's good reading about the accents. The shocking thing. It's clueless. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like Tim's northern accent, but for like every accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. Right, anyway, red to here. Red. There we go. Two. Right, so here. as you may or might not, may or not know, we deal with Bertie Pool amongst ourselves, and upon birthdays, we buy each other a gift. And this is our last birthday of the year, isn't it, Norm? Is that is? Hey. Hey, the best to last. Oh no, that mom is a few a oh, few weeks left. <laughs> but no, we got Scott. So Scott's birthday is actually today as well, which is cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Sorry, I was just thinking about Scott coming in behind twenty five other blokes. Anyway, never mind. Um, oh. <laughs> do, do you often think of men like that? I Stop know, it! Man. Just go yeah. back to. Stop it! What? I don't know. Ah. You're the one you're the one with the repressed feelings. I haven't got anything. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let, it out. Let it out, Brian. Let it out. Just you, have, you not, have, you not got to, have you not got to get down the pub to sell some of those dodgy stereos? <laughs> I don't sell stereos. <laughs> it's what they do in Liverpool, isn't it? <laughs> 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 So, oh, like, like the hand gestures as well. Yeah. From Paul down the pub, he had a big bag of the hand gestures to make the accent work. Otherwise, hey, you sound oh, That's on the set here who ate Keith and they really wish. <laughs> hey, yeah, quiet now. <laughs> anyway, Hello. welcome, Scott. Hello. How are you, mate? You okay? I've not seen you for a while. Hope you're doing all right. I'm doing good. Excellent. So excited. Are you excited to open your present? Yeah, it's been sitting here for almost a month. Wow, that's Norman for you. Yeah, on the ball, Ultra that boy. Ultra efficient. So, um, sadly, you've got to listen to us all sing. Hey. Hopefully, Graham will do it in a, in a South African accent. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume that's where all these accents are. You all sound. Yeah. Um, and then you can open your gift buddy as well. Alrighty. Right. So, are we ready? On <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Two, three. Happy birthday! Happy Alrighty. Hey, well done, guys. Oh, Lovely. Got a few birthday wishes in the chat there as well. People wishing happy birthday, which is good. Here we go. You want to open up and have a look? Um, oh, so that oh, spider oh, game. That spider game. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, school. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 it's got wings. Oh, it's got three wings. Oh, oh. 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 it's a triplane, isn't it? It's a triplane. Oh, that's <gasps> lovely. Yeah, where's where's Dan when you need him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you watching? <gasps> oh, my word. Oh. I said, if I'm not surprised. I'm out. <laughs> 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 nice to be surprised for him. Nice. There you go, Scott. Enjoy. Yep. Happy birthday, mate. One has the spare decals for that one, doesn't it? The other one. Yeah, this one's really nice here. Yeah, that one has got the spare decals for that other one as well, Scott. So you can do Rick Toffin's actual plane from the uh, from the app for the Winged Up Wings uh, decal sheet as well. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Very nice. Happy birthday, mate. Happy birthday, enjoy. Happy birthday, Scott. Make sure you put pictures up in uh, for Dan to enjoy, Dan Cook. Yes. <laughs> he loves World War One. He does, not he? He does. Yeah. 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 Well, lovely, mate. You'll do a cracking job with us and all. 
Yeah, there we go. That's our last birthday of the year. Yay! Uh, there we go. We'll be back next year with uh, the next lot. Fun, and we were back on uh, Christmas Day with our Secret Santa opening as well. Looking forward to that. <clears throat> I know. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. No worries, Scott. Happy birthday, mate. Yeah, like I say, we'll be back um, next Friday for our pre-Christmas show, uh, and we're back on Christmas Day. I'm thinking, depends what's best for either one or two p.m. I'm thinking more like one in the afternoon for an hour or so, and then maybe um, six, seven o'clock that evening as well for a second round. Because there's how many of us? It's like th- 20, twenty-five six, seven, yes. or whatever. So we're not all going to get in, but no one's going to be available anyway. So. Um, we'll do two of them. So there'll be two little short live segments on. Um, what are you doing, Dan? Just, I, I do a daily check of my secret Santa. Oh. I'm trying to check out what it is. And, <laughs> yeah. Don't shake it. It's a very small box, though. And it's a very small box, but good things apparently come in small packages, so I keep getting told. I don't have you seen yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't so, yeah, we'll, we'll be with us on Christmas Day for two live mini Joe's to join us. Gray might even pop in and make a special appearance. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Season's greetings. Um, sadly, Graham's not taking part. So I'm a bit gutted about, really, because yeah. oh, I am a little bit gutted about that, G. I've got to honestly say. So, Sorry, fellas. Santa might bring you something. You never know. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Mm-hmm. Um, so there we go. Um, that's it. So well done to Norm for organising all that through the air. Well done, mate. Yeah, nice one, Norm. It's going to be easy to organise, but it's not. No. That's difficult. So difficult by the silliest of things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, there you go. <laughs> yeah, Dan needs to give up vape and it's caused your eyebrows to slip beneath your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Norm, are you taking note? <laughs> I was yeah. in the chat. Hold oh, on a minute. Yeah, As Hannah says in the chat, there's any secret Santa need any help? Uh, don't leave it too late. Definitely out of our group, we need to get sorted. So, there we go. Um, so we're all caught up, and that's that. So, as he's building that, what are we all working on, Graham? Uh, my tiger, I'm gonna probably weather up the tracks tonight, I think. Superb, and how about you, Dan? I'm gonna try and attempt to do a bit more on my Revell truck piece of turd crap thing trying it's, it's good that you're enjoying it yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying it yeah i'm i'm gonna try and push through and then never do a revel kit ever again that's my plan maybe it might get kiboshed and a big hammer hit it no one's working on, no one's working on a chinook yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is this ch46 the 46 C night. I'm going to detail the winch tonight. Ooh. Add wires and other bits to it. Pull yourself together, eh? And then it's yeah. going to put it in its box. Oh, no, this one come out of the box, mate. It's been in the box for a lot of years. <laughs> this one's actually come out of the box. Wow, I'm shocked. Uh, Sam? I'm going to be finishing off the Porsche 911 Le Mans. Nice. The Fujimi one, but it's going to be a what-if sort of thing with decals. Yeah. Fujimi decals suck. Mm. They really do. Unfortunately. Um, hope we get sorted, mate. Uh, Scott, feel free. Hang around as long as you want, mate. Or if you need to go, just let us know. What are you going to work on tonight? I'm uh, working on my uh, albatross. Oh, oh. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Just got the landing gear left to do, and it'll be done. What kit is it? Oh. It's the Edward uh, uh, D3. Very nice, mate. I like that. I reckon he uses that drill press in background for rigging. Never <laughs> <laughs> mind that. He's got a scroll saw there as well, hasn't he? Mm. Yeah, next to that, I have a lathe. Oh. oh. Very jealous there. Mm. Showing off now. Mm. Yeah, he's showing off, isn't he? Tim. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to cake. What are you working on? I've got any cakes tonight. I've got some mince pies. He yeah, told you. Yeah, I've got some mince pies. I've always got mince pies. It's Christmas. You have to have mince pies. <laughs> it's the law. It is the law. It is the law to have mince pies at Christmas. Mince pie. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing some more of the interior work on the um, the wing nuts kit, and I'm going to be repainting the steering wheel that I totally painted wrong the other day. Oh, 
<laughs> that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> you know, it's quite an, so I just quick. So I painted this dinky little steering wheel here, right? So I was like, oh yeah. So I've got paint, oh, I've got paint in the middle inside bit wood, painted it all, done it all, sat there looking at it and thinking, yeah, that's good, that is. And then looked at the instruction books, ah. Oh, the, the the bit you hold on to is wood and the inside bit's metal. So I had to strip it all back off <laughs> and paint it again. <laughs> Makes sense. Fun I live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to go and work on my skyline, I think, try and get the GTR done. Cool. That's it. Beautiful. I'm going to put my camera over there. It's in a slightly different place tonight, so uh, bear with me. Because I have the uh, camcorder overhead. See you there. Um, uh, um, and there we go. So, like I said, we've got Dan, I thought you were working on Facebook page in the forum, and Graham's got his questions for the crew. Um, what have we been buying? You let me know when you want to do them, Graham, and you can crack on me. Yeah, no worries. Whenever. We've got them out of the way now. Go for it. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, mate, I'll leave you, and when you're ready, Dan, give me a shout. Yeah, yeah. Leave it for a bit, like. Just get him up. Um... Uh, Krampus will be whipping Graham. <laughs> What's that? Right. <laughs> Krampus is the, is the uh, alternative to Father Christmas, let's say. is, is worse than the Grinch. Right. Okay. Okay. He makes you look like Father Christmas. Makes Graham look like Easter Bunny. Well, that's true. It's on you, G, and present me as well. Okay, okay. I'm just having a getting stuff in order. I haven't got mine on yet, G, because I can't find the link. Well, I'll put the link. No, I can't be able to find the link. My phone's playing up, so mm. it only goes so far down. And, uh, it's Caesar, so no questions on the forum. So, I just got a question there, Ted. Do you think as well? Do you? Okay, Nigel's modeling who's echoing down, I guess. Uh, Nigel's modeling bench says he's about to start an online body build of the Meng A7 tank. How is an online body build normally done? Any ideas will be gratefully appreciated. Well, wherever it's hosted, share a pic of the kit on started, and then show regular build updates as you go through, and then you finish build there as well. That's it, really. Quite simple. Yeah. Quite simple. No, Nigel, you probably do a video build as well. Yeah. It's always worth linking to as well. Okay. Just regular updates as you, as you go along, mate. Just, you yeah. know from both whoever's taking part just set up a, a, a folder or something and just work from there and just regular updates of each progress right we shall do what we've been buying first i think let's just uh, screen share Ooh, scary that's no room Right, so what have we been buying this week? Kicking us off is our lovely little friend from down <laughs> near near, oh, well. near near London. Um, this oh. week's <laughs> not not racing. You can get there on his tractor, <laughs> apparently. Um, so Matt has been buying uh, another Tamiya Toyota Corolla and the Aoshima Lamborghini Murcielago. Which is very, very nice. Cool. Yeah. Lovely. Nice work. Uh, Clinton Eels says, Merry Christmas, everyone. Just bought a few more TS and AS cans and slipped in a 148 Tamiya Corsair F4. Nice. Good little kit. <laughs> yeah, very good little kit. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. He's still get, he's catching you up on those... Uh, Oh, there is a fair few away still. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Adam Barber says, This week I bought a bottle of Vallejo Model Air, Radome Tan. But I can't remember the life of me why I needed it. <laughs> uh, 
And he also found this little gem in a charity shop. That's a cool looking thing. Mm. Which one's that? Uh, one five. That's awesome. Ooh. Big sleeve like that is. Is that not the old uh, Matchbox one? Blue box. Oh. More than likely known Rebel. Oh. Really nice. Gifted donation. No, it doesn't show how much it was. That's, uh, yeah, it's a nice looking thing. I just hope it's a good kit for you, Matt. Nice one, Adam. Uh, Radim. <laughs> he hasn't bought anything apart from a 55 inch smart Samsung TV. Oh, no, no. The Power RS the shop will have to deliver today. Huh? If they know we're putting stuff like that up, I'd have put me out. Ah. <laughs> Why don't I get, the, get it back in the bags? Uh, it looks like he's playing World of Tanks or something as well. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Derek Gilbert says he's got another B-Max kit and the upgrade pack. Don't know anything about this car, but love the markings. Odd wheels might be accurate, yeah, but they'll be replaced with something matching. I think they are. We've talked yeah, about this are. before, haven't we? Three, four stroke back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good-looking car. That. I like it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And that Minolta scheme's lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm, really nice on that bike. Alex BB. The second half of his uh, AK Black Friday sale order arrived this week. It's taken a while. Uh, the rest of his extreme metal paints and some other goodies. Uh, you have to say the paint storage bags are great for the money, especially 25% off, when compared to the battle foam ones. The sponge is not quite as dense, but they really do the job for way less money. Okay. That's a cool idea. I guess for when you go into like modeling clubs and stuff or war gaming clubs, take all your bits with you. Cool as shaker. I didn't know AK made a fiberglass pencil. Oh. Mm. Don't really <laughs> and a few other items off eBay. The U Star tapes seem okay. Um, not bad for the money, and an extra tape holder for some washy tapes. Also managed to get some of the highly illegal in the UK, according to the man at SMW, CL Model World, uh, Tammy Paint Retarder, to test out and compare to the Vallejo stuff. <laughs> he thinks they're both just glycerin, probably. Cool. Never tried that washy tape. Oh, friends are best to use. Uh, it's, uh, I just saw it just come in now from um, somebody in my village. Oh. Uh, yes, sorry, Dan Cook. Sorry, a classic droid combo. Happy Christmas, guys, especially Graham. I know the one on the left. Uh, well, well done. Is he a goodie or a baddie? That's a goodie. Well done. I'm not sure what that one is. That one's a goodie also. Well, I'll, okay. I'll find D4 is the one with the bad motivator in our Star Wars. Yeah, what was it called? Sorry, motivator. I think it is. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Motivator. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to have to build some Star Wars stuff, even though I don't know anything about it. Um, Claire has been shopping again. More goodies this week from Premium Hobbies, uh, which is um, uh, awesome. Lovely BMW. Which is uh, I forgot. I've got totally uh, lost me totally lost my train of thought. Then I was looking to see what that said under there, mm. and it actually says Deutschland. Um, anyway, yes. So the Bmax uh, E30 and the detail upset, and the Tamiya Epson NSX photo etch what? set. Very nice indeed. Nice. And she also got the uh, Corvette C5. Yeah, it's a nice little kit, that. That's a lovely scheme. Yeah, that's cool. That I like the comfy wear. Mm hmm. Really nice colour as well. I bet yeah. that's an interesting um, call out in Revel's instruction book. I mean, it's just blue, doesn't it? Yeah, it'll say blue, or it'll give you a list of about thirty paints to put half a drop of each in. No, no, they don't with those. They literally just say they'll say it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they don't help. <laughs> it wow, it is a gorgeous looking thing. Right, you've got the kit in that scale. That's what it should be. Really nice. Does it? That's a, that's a lovely looking Corvette. Yep, really is. And then she's been shopping with Ed some more. Um, some more splash paints. Ford colours. Nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, if you want to know a bit more about splash paints, check out Paul's review on the channel further down. 
don't know why I'm pointing. You can't see me. Um, great, great comparison review this week. And, uh, yeah, it looks really nice. That purple's lovely. Uh, more replies. She got some uh, Vallejo metal colour and some more splash paints. Very nice. Uh, I think that's it. Now then, I don't think this is going to be a big one, is it? No. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, I got McLaren F1 GTR to go with those Marlboro decals I got cheap last week. Um, uh, Fina decals for a long tail McLaren, because we've seen that somewhere. Literally stumbled across those on YouTube. And some Valentin cotton cloths for polishing, which they were five quid for five giant cloths. And they're very nice quality as well. Cool. And some splash paint. So, uh, I got a replacement Jagermeister Orange from Splash themselves. Very kind of them to do that. I'm using a whole bottle last time. Um, <clears throat> I bought a couple of other colours. Got the Battlefield Orange, uh, a Ferrari Dino grey colour, slate grey Porsche, and the Midnight Purple uh, for the Skyline. And um, Ed very kindly sent me some of the metalizers to review as well. Uh, I have sprayed them today. They're right in front of me here. Um, so I will do a proper standalone review at a later date. Cool. Uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Yeah, that's the GTR. Um, but go with Oshima instead of Tammy. It was a bit cheaper. It was 30 quid as opposed to like 40 odd. Um, and yeah, nice kit as well. That's really good. What's it call? It's yeah. lovely, isn't it? They are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the Skylines are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, over to Dan Edmonds. Some Japanese cars from Kent Models. Great price on these. So that's is that a Corolla? Looks like a Corolla. Mm. Oh, Tim on, Tim on. oh no, it's a Celica. Celica. Yeah. Celica GT. Um that is absolutely gorgeous. And Ken and Mary Skylines. Well two thousand GTs are they called. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Very much. Yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. And he's also got some paint supplies for future bills. Detail upset for the Liberty Walk R35. Nice. And some Kevlar weave decals from Hero Boy. That's the stuff that you've just been using, isn't it, Paul? Yes, it looks like the same one. Yeah, very nice. Good stuff. And over to Al McNeish. Looks like he's been down the bookshop. Uh, Buccaneer and Hurricane Haynes manuals and the Harrier Air Power book zine. Excellent. Also had to purchase exhaust cans for the 172nd Strike Eagle as the kit parts have a massive gap. Oh, and a mask set because he's used to max at masking. <laughs> These Haynes manuals are great. Um, and they're cheap as chips if you look in the works at the minute. They're going for about six or seven quid. Great for changing oil on your Cortina. So again, they're great for changing oil on your Cortina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're awesome. not. They're not like the old Haynes manuals, are they? They're actually a proper book. They're really cool. Well, the other one was a book. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I can be pedantic too. You can. <laughs> uh, Thomas Vavra has got his first Tamiya kit. Um, that's a lovely looking thing and i'm pretty sure that's one of the early 70s ones isn't it more than likely yeah yeah i've done two of those era kits and they've both been really really good <coughs> easy to build that's really cool and ooh, the hasegawa lancia delta integrale oh, wow. excellent lovely 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 uh, Peter John Phelps has been shopping at um, umpretail.com. Come on, wiki wiki. Wiki wiki. There we go. Uh, this week, uh, this week's lots. Took some time to turn up due to the courier and not UMP, but so glad it has. Now I can crack on with his first car build. Um, and thank you to Hannah for all of her help regarding this. Yeah, sadly, this time of year, the post really starts to slow down. Yeah. Um, there's not much we can do about it really um, speaking to all the couriers and the postman and that it's just manic at the minute so 
If you do all this stuff, just a little bit of patience. Just uh, if you take a little bit longer, we do apologize. There we go. Nice little hole there. I'll keep you going for a while. Uh, Mr. Steve Spencer Beanie has um, had a totally great shopping week this week. Some supplies for a couple of bills next year. Um, MIG black and white paint set and a MIG air weathering set for the US Navy Jets and a few Revel aqua colours. Mm, nice. Mm. Beautiful. They look lovely. Timothy Ivets has been shopping. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I got hold of the SE5 Night Fighter from Edward. That's got a couple of nice schemes in that one. Uh, and it's got the blue diamonds on the front box, and then the, on the side of the box, they've got like a red tail version with different color wing, slightly, slightly different on the wings. So I picked that up so I could do my uh, revel as a night fighter as well. Cool. Skip. Uh, got the new LED work light. That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference compared to the old tube ones. Yeah. Massive difference. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's on my list for after Crips Moss. Yeah. And uh, picking it up on the Amazon damaged section was a proper bargain. Ooh. On the sly as well, Tim. <laughs> it's like the list screen. £65 that was. Heavy. What? Heavy, yeah. Though, isn't it? Yeah. I, I literally, I was like, going on there, I was like, oh, I think I need to buy one. And I'm like, Ooh, there's one in the used section. It said slight damage. Sixty-five pound buy. I was sitting there and Paul's going, "What? What are you doing, Tim? Where did you see what? That? Just Paul. I'll be back in a minute." <laughs> just jamming the buttons to make it buy. And yes, it turned up, and all it had was a damaged box. Oh, oh, proper result, proper result. I could actually use that one and replace both of my tube ones quite easily. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. I don't think I'll need both two tube ones anymore. So we're happy with that. Cool. Clip. Really nice. And <sighs> I've got the Windsock book on the Ansaldo. I don't have the kit yet, but that's that's yeah, that is that is planned. I might get the I'll try and get the kit of that one. Cute looking thing, that. It's not cheap though. No, we not we don't do it, it's aviasic, it's a bit expensive. Oh, right. yeah. Uh Windsock Windsock files on the camel and the Brandenburg W twelve. Very nice indeed. Yep. And finally, we'll win sock books on the AEG bomber and then the Sockwift triplane. Nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. And that is oh. that. Right. Let's just uh, jump straight over and do the question straight away. Let's get it all nailed, shall we? <laughs> Stop being silly. I don't know why I'm going up when I want to go down. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just... just... No, it's an experiment. Right. So. Oops. Oh. So. <laughs> Firstly, I got the date wrong. Thanks, Bill. Uh, so, we've got two proper questions. <laughs> One from Mike Tynan. For the car builders, after painting the belly pan of cars, do you spray gloss on it? If so, what gloss do you recommend? No. No. I don't. My, I've done the Skyline one. You can't see it. I'll show you in a minute. Um, gloss black. I sprayed it today. I wouldn't normally do gloss black. It normally be the um, body color, and it wouldn't be cleared. I'd just leave it flat. But with this one, I thought, you know what? Let's do a gloss black. Somebody really cares for this car, so they've had the bottom sprayed. I don't know. Um, but normally, no, just body colour and left satin. Or mask, it is. To be honest, <clears> be honest <throat> but if you want to gloss it, go for it. Um, there's a lot of detail under there, though, so you need to make sure it's a nice thing gloss in 2K or something. Cover it and fill it all in. So, um, yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, so, the question gives him away. That's, that's Jifter. That's yeah. Jifter, isn't it? Yes. So, as he asked me to not do it, I will do it. So, so Kevin says, another question. <laughs> I just got my first proper car kit recently. 
<laughs> oh my god. Are you gonna do the end of it in Scouse? Hang on. Recently, and I want to know what would be the best option for go oh, stop it, birthday club. I'm not oh, hang on, let me just mute. Mute this because you've you've, you've you've smoked me thunder now. <laughs> mute. Bye bye. Right. Uh sorry. Uh, he just brought my first proper car kit recently, and I want to know what would be the best option for gloss coating that isn't too gay, as I couldn't be bothered with all the precautions, cleanup, etc. involved. If I could find something almost as good without the faff, any suggestions? If you spoke like that round here, you get murdered. Oh. <laughs> if I had a decent pair of trainers on round your way, I'd get murdered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be having any ground. <laughs> you, stick, you stick to your dad's shoes. <laughs> anyway, answer, answer, answer Jeff Jaff's question, please. Oh, brilliant. Um, Alcad Aquagloss, going to need a lot of polishing. Um, but pretty safe to spray, gonna need loads of coats and then some fairly rugged polishing. Uh, you got Tamir X22, thin to Mr. Level and thinner, or a bit of guns, uh, GX100. Uh, the problem with those two is when you thin it with a level and thinner, you need to about 50%, and it makes them very hot, and you really run the risk of melting decals. Mm -hmm. It's happened to me, I've been there, done it. Uh, other than that, you can brush paint pledge if you really want to. It does work. Um, I wouldn't go that way myself. Or you can try some of the Winger Newton stuff. Um, but all these are going to take quite a while to cure as well. Um, so you're going to have to leave them um, for a good or so to fully cure before you touch them. Uh, which is the benefit of 2K because half an hour later, well, no, no, but 12 hours later, you can handle it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Really, anybody else getting any suggestions? No, no I'd, I'd stick with that for us, Yeah, if you, um, I'm if you look at you some now, yeah, if you look at Dan Edmonds' work, um, uh, all of the I think until very recently at least, most of his cars have all been done with aqua gloss. Well, very good um, one. just takes work, and he just, uh, but he, by you know, he'll, he'll tell you he has to, he has to put a lot of work into polishing it up, but it, the, the finished result is brilliant. But a lot of work. Well, there you go. So I hope that answers your question. Now, I'm just going to momentarily stop screen sharing because I need to go into a different part of Facebook. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you lot. <laughs> Gee. Hang on. Where's, where's my phone? Yeah, well, I've muted. Oh, no. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> um, I'm sure I can fine. find one that's not muted. Give him a poke. You, you probably could. <laughs> you probably could. Ooh. Yeah. So oh. my PCs are slow. Sorry. It's not the PC that's slow. It's me. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we've got two questions on main ISM. I will switch back to a screen share. You want a South African accent? So Richard Parrick says, "Hi all. Hope you're having a good show tonight. Sadly, can't join us. It's May's Christmas staff. Partly was nearly Mrs. May's leaving party this week. Um, it's his staff do. Hope to catch up tomorrow. Uh, so, question about rescribing panel lines. Do you have any helpful hints and tips for doing this job? It's a job I'm afraid of doing because every time I try, the tool will often go in every direction other than the one I intend. Even if I manage to get a ruler or tape lined up as a guide, accepting, of course, that practice makes perfect, but if there are things I could be doing to help me on my way, that's be great. YouTube clips make it look easy. For information, he has the Tamiya rescribing tool. Yeah, the Tamiya P. P well, it's a peak cutter, really. Yeah, yeah. Basically, a peak cutter, yeah. It's a good tool, but it can be a bit ruthless if you're not careful. Yeah. Trumpet one's cheap, but a bit poor, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, best ones I've used, light and plug. The Holly ones at UMP, they're very good. And the Funtech ones are very good as well. They're not cheap, but they are good. 
Um, and the UMM ones are good as well. But they're all different. They all take a different technique to use. Um, it's not something you're going to pick up. Rescribing still one of the things I hate doing to this day. Absolutely despise doing it. What, um, I'd, re what I'd recommend is just doing something that doesn't need rescribing. <laughs> is that, yeah. Um, but, yeah, get some decent tape. Um, Dymo tape's good, not the proper stuff. Or the yeah. old label makers. Get the cheap stuff off eBay. It's a lot mm -hmm. more. Um, or even better, get the high Q stuff that we sell at USP. Just awesome. I'll go around every curve and corner and need the um, And it's like the red blanket. Um, and practice. What are you going to do? Take your time doing it. Don't rush. Let the tool do the work. I know it's an old cliche that. But if you're, you know, pressing on it like a deranged gorilla, yeah. uh, if it slips, it's going to cause a lot of damage. So, just take your time. Um, when you're sanding, try and limit the areas you're sanding by using um, tape uh, to protect your edges and what have you. And uh, yeah, that's it. What I do. Yeah, down in the are Holly G's to pick up. Yeah, we've got them. Oh. Yeah, I've um, I <laughs> I didn't know about this uh, scribing tip um, when I first tried, and uh, I made a right mess of it. But I've, I I use it. I haven't tried the um, the high Q stuff. I've tried the um, Dymo tape, and I bought a really bright orange one as well. So it's good high contrast against that, the plastic. The Dymo works well, but the uh, the high Q gets around corners better. Yeah, yeah, it is very yeah. stiff. Um, but mine is only the the cheap stuff off of eBay, but it's really thick. Um, but I what I try and do is get it perfectly aligned on the line that I want, and then I. I just let the because I've got the P cutter from Tamiya as well, and I let it sort of just drag across the surface, but leaning onto the side of the tape, if that makes sense. So it can't go anywhere, and then there's no pressure on it all. I just go over it lots of times, really gently. Yeah, if um, I'm Tamiya one, you can push it to start it as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, that makes sense rather than pulling back straight away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, another thing you can do, you can put a, a pin or a needle in a pin vise mm -hmm. and draw along. The tape edge first, very gently to make a score line in it before you actually use your peak cutter. Yeah. That will stop you sliding off different directions all the time. Or use it with your finger up against it like that. Oh well you can't see, but yeah. put your finger up against the side and just scribe around very gently. Start very gently at first, then gradually start working your way into the line. Don't go like I say <clears throat> not not man pressures up on it, which is uh, get round there. It's just very gently and just take your time. It takes a bit of practice, but it's very easy. And I actually love rescribing, so I'm a sad sad. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Hope that helps, mate. And then a last question from Claire says, Hi, everyone. What's the best way to thin Windsor & Newton matte satin UV varnish for airbrushing so as not to damage the decals and produce a nice smooth finish? Any other matte or satin clear cuts you'd recommend that are not too k So similar well, question. Dan's used the Windsor Newton stuff a lot. UMP. That's what I thin all my Windsor Newton stuff with. UMP. Oh, okay. For alternatives, you've got uh, Tamiya's X85. XF86. 86, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, Tessa's dual coat as well, one of my favourite. Dual coat's awesome. And Mr. Hobby do a UV or a Mac clear now, which I did have and never got to try because I ruined it. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few old times. I like Tessa's dual coat, me. Oh, uh, yeah. Mac coat. See, yeah. I like Windsor Newtons. Yeah. But it's also cool. for courses, isn't it? Yes, clear the thinner, yeah. What I can actually do next year, if you want, I can do an actual prescribing uh, demonstration sometime in the new year. That'd be cool. Yep. That'd be cool. Nah, I'll do that. You the man. That, as they say, is that. Um, we had some, um, just as soon as that's flashed up, had some <coughs> photos sent in for the uh, ISM Instagram page. Um, I've put a couple up there today. Um, if you're sending photos in for Instagram, bear in mind Instagram is all about photographs. Um, there was a couple in the re I'm not going to sort of pick any particular ones out, but there was a couple of really nice, really nice models sent in, but you couldn't really see them because of the background or they were too small in the frame or whatever. It's it's Instagram. It's all about the sort of 
getting close, make them big, and an uncluttered background. Yeah, and don't take your shot from 10 foot away. Yeah, but yeah. Frame your picture so you can see your model. It's yeah. Instagram is all about the photo, all about the image. I know that sounds daft, but it's not like Facebook or the, the the text is secondary. It's all about the impact of that image as people scroll through. Otherwise, you won't get anybody looking. They'll just whiz past it. They can't see where it is straight away. Now we're gonna have Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. so but yeah, keep them coming in. I will put this post up again, um, probably over the weekend. And, um, only try and put your completed builds in and. Um, just what you've completed in the last week, and that'd be cool. And like I say, big pictures, please. Thank you. Am I feeding back? Hey, am I feeding back? Dan. Oh, Dan. Hey. Sorry, Sam. Surprise, surprise! It's me. I told you what to do, Dan. Come on. <laughs> Play the game, Dan. Play the game. I just realised I forgot to put a picture of my tank on Dan's thing. I would do that now. Oh, just because I saw it over my shoulder. Right, Dan, get over quick onto the forum. <laughs> the thing is, it only takes one minute because it's so easy to do now. Oh, really? Mm, what yeah. did you mean? Sorry? Oh. All you have to do is just send your photograph to Flickr and then it's just so easy to send it to the forum. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, so, Dan, when are you putting in place what we were chatting about the other night? Oh. Which, which Dan? You? Well, you're the only Dan here. <laughs> um, hang on. Hang, hang on, I've been at work since then. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell am I? Messing mess, mess around with, us, with, with the router, Dan. Around with the, with the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> I won't say it too loud, I don't want people to hear me. Messing, messing around oh, with yes, me. yes. Oh, yes, now I remember. To, yes, yeah. that's a good call, actually. I'm going to find my password. <laughs> yeah. Change the password, boot them off. Yeah. That's a good call, that term. Uh, I'll be back in a minute, so I'm going to make some coffee. Would anyone like anything from the shop? Cup of tea, two sugars, please. Cornetto. Cornetto nutty. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you're talking about Cornetto. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> 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 um, oh dear! I'm not getting it. I nearly said a word then. I'm, that's what I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> False sense of security. I think Graham B looks far too interested in what he's playing with. What game um, are you playing, Graham? I'm not playing a game. I'm doing me pictures. Oh, hey. Sure, can play, Graham. You're awful angry tonight, G. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something there, but it would have cost me a tenner at least. <laughs> now, what's everyone working on in the chat then? People watching, what are you guys and girls working on? They've not said hello, say hello. Watching, so say hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we don't bite. I must have many teeth for that now. Yeah. Maybe because I've got no fingers. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Adam's at work, gutted. So, like I said before, there you go. There's my chassis all painted gloss black TS14. Wouldn't normally do that, but I thought I sod it. It could be a good looking chassis. Oh, nice. This one's on. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Gaz working on a trumpeter BMP terminator. Claire's working on a F-35. John's working on a CF-188 Hornet. And a Newport N-111. N I eleven, sorry. Tony's working on an R thirty four. Nice. Get your shoes off. Yeah. Tony, did you get turn up? Last two Billy's on a 132 Mustang from Revel. Yeah, it's not too good kit. Uh, Malcolm's working on his Enzo Ferrari. Nightmare trying to get the doors to fit. Uh, we should have missed it any further up. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, Nigel's working on his proper state Lancaster. Excellent. Oh, nice. And Matt Baker's stippling hundreds of tiny dots to create a cloth texture on a mini. Mini cloth. Oh, cool. And Sean's working on Industrial Mechanica Hornikoff up there. Oh, nice. You'll see that later. Yeah, yeah excellent. Um, I think I've got a funny feeling Sean's going to end up getting bit by that uh, Industrial Mechanica bug. I don't know, that metal might hurt. <laughs> no, he's an odd man. He's from Scunthorpe. <clears throat> uh, I don't think he did, Nigel. I'll try and remind him a minute. If not, I'll pop it in the chat in a minute. Remind him. Uh, Northwest RC UK is high all new to the model scene. Been watching videos of how to, etc. Purchase the Revel Gold Cabriolet and Escort Mark II. And advice what to do, what I'll do for the first time. Go watch my Subaru videos, bud. Mm -hmm. Might be um, helpful for you. Take your time. Looking forward to next Friday. Yeah, it'll be a good show, isn't it? I hope it's going to be a good laugh. I have a feeling I've missed out on something here. No, just the Christmas decks and silly hat. things. Oh, yeah, you might have missed out on the silly hat thing. Yeah. Oh. That's all it is. Yeah. Sorry. Got you, haven't you? You wouldn't have cared, anyways. <laughs> no. That's always the Christmas show, that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need some work on my wires, and that'll be us. Sam's got a cracker, haven't you, Zach? Sam? Oh, absolutely, yeah. You could keep it hidden, though, for now. We'll... Yeah. I've got a few good ones. Scared the dog with it. Sam's is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It'd be very funny. Whether we can set that for a whole show, I don't know. <laughs> Just hold it on the teller. <laughs> you be need that other jar of stuff that you keep up. <laughs> uh. No, I might be needing it for Thursday, normal in fact. Ah, cool. Okay, that uh, ever should be in the next week, mate. Should be in the next week. And yeah, now I yeah, I knew it'd be sat in black, mate. We're all sat on the equal. This one's got an owner that um I spent a bit of money and had it glossed underneath. It's a show car. That's what we're going with. We never get to do them glossy underneath, so I thought it's 
beautiful paint up. Hey, it's beautiful paint that car. It is a nice color. Hey there, Dan. Uh, hey, Mika's working on a Tamiya GT2911. Cool. Uh, James is watching in front of the room, cuddling his pussy. God oh, bless. Uh, Dan is working on a Stone Tiger. Cool. Excellent. John Stone says, You heard anything about the release of the Hobby Boss? Tim's not here, so I'll ask in a minute. Is he still faffing about that canopy? Yep. Oh my god, we stick it on there, man. The He's worse than me. <laughs> and John Reed's working on the Tammy Honda RC 21106. Oh, nice, the Repsol bike. Oh, hang on. No, it could be uh, Kanika Minolta, couldn't it? Which one is it, uh, John? Andrew Thomas says, hi, guys, from South Oz. G'day. G'day. Oh. Ian's there. Even folks like Rival No Modeling done this week. You just have to do some real-life work. Ooh, gutted. Yeah, they've been doing the... Um, oh, yeah. It's been, been a rally on, hasn't it? Uh, is it Grisdale? I to remember now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the Grisdale rally this week. So we'll have been busy, busy, busy. I want to do the Repsol, nice. The 06, that's the box that's different to all the Tammy boxes, but the picture is in portrait, isn't it? Yeah, I got that kit. Let's get that. Open after Christmas to do get back to the bike. So I do enjoy doing. Need to pull my finger out my bum. <laughs> that one's just water. Easy for you to say. Okay. Are you going to do a video build on that one, Paul? Oh, Dan. Never say never, mate. Never say never. <laughs> Are you going to share it with the groups? <laughs> you said pull your thumb out. Sorry. <laughs> I might, I might do uh, no one, but I'm running out of groups to uh, chat. Yeah, I was say, mate, yeah. I'm getting thrown off them for no reason. Well, that's pretty really good. Apparently, we're going to share Facebook pages on Facebook. That's diabolical, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, jealousy. That's what it is. Uh, Nigel, that is Citadel Mithril Silver in a Tamiya bowl. Just to make it easier to use. It's uh, my go to. Silver brush paint, so I put it in there for ease. Back on more boys. And great, uh, sorry, James, the silly question, Alas. What's the best way to remove stretches from a canopy? You mean imperfections in the canopy? If it's distortion, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah. Or if maybe cut it off the sprue, it's got those. But the yeah, uh, again, take a lot of work to get rid of. They look like hairline cracks in them, didn't they? Yeah, I know, John. I know. I said I'd never do it, but never say never. I got a list of stuff I want to get built. Um, some of it's for me. Some of it's not. I bought that Ferrari, Tim, as well. Which one? Uh, revival kits we're looking at. Oh, oh. Yeah, the it, oh that looks cool. Probably an absolute nightmare, but it's a good looking car. It's a very good that's a very good looking car. Um yeah, I wanna I wanna get my bike finished at um the Tech 3 Yamaha. I wanna get done. Because that's well, kind of started. I really want to build that Catrum. Oh yeah. I really want to build it. That that's my plan to start in the new year. Oh, you could just leave that like King Kong as a slow burner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kong's Tong, a Tong's a very slow burner though, Dan. I know. <laughs> Kong may up going end up going on holiday somewhere. Oh, <laughs> you need you need a little trip. 
Can we get him a little cage or a little box? Well, he was out, and I was happy to work on him. Every time James came in, he's terrified of it. Yeah. Absolutely terrified of it. Um, so I had to put it away. Because literally, he would not move anywhere. He wouldn't go anywhere near it. I thought, oh. It was just sat there drying when I epoxied those arms. And he was going mental. Was like, oh, God. It kind of like took the steam out of it a little bit because it was just yeah. being... Uh, the thing is, again, I'm going back to saying what I said a while back. I started a plane. Yeah. I'm bored of it already. It's back in the box. I started a truck. I'm bored of it already. It's back in the box. I just want to build cars. I really want to get back to the bikes as well. So, like I say, I've got this video build to do. I've got the Aventador next. Don't mind these video builds. I feel easy. This is filming now while I'm doing this. I'll just let it roll and cut something out later. Um, but I really do want to finish that Tech 3 Yang off. Um, just so I can get back at the bikes. That was going well until the decals just fell. Well, I and then I, I think I do want to build that Cajun. Good. I really do. Uh, I've always liked that kit. Um, what? Uh, now, I'm just saying there, uh, Tim, that Aviatics are putting the prices up 20% in January. Yeah, but not the um, resin, just the decals. Oh. I've, already done, I've already looked into this, I've already checked, but it, it, if I buy it this side of Christmas, it's probably, it will be going up at some point over the next year. I don't know how soon. But yeah, the, de the decals are all going up 20%. That's why I've got loads, and I'm quite happy at the moment. Um, sorry, I missed that the extra point I was talking about there. So, yeah, once I get a few of those builds out of the way, I'll probably pick up the cage on, like we say. That's going to be a hell of a build. Um, I may do a bike build. Whether I'll do a full technique build of it, I don't know. I don't know. Because that is a lot of work. And it's a lot of work on a bike as well. There's a lot more to a bike than a car to do. Oh, yeah. I might just do a build of it. Because it's all basically car stuff anyway just passed over the only difference is there's a lot more metallic work on there and i do have to apologize for martin for using that f word there well mm -hmm. i didn't say right but family you'll see it huh you'll see it and he's in the chat don't we? yeah <laughs> Oh, hang on. What F word is it? Oh. <laughs> I think it's just dawned on me what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I think. I think. Um, I, can see, I can see a J word. Yeah. Well, I thought yeah. you put. I thought you put Johnson's uh, future. No. What do you think is Martin Norman never told us he lived under a bridge. <laughs> he wouldn't understand Graham because he's not very. Online savvy. Oh. Not very nice. So does he actually use it then? What? That stuff. Yes. Wow. It does have its uses. Proper old school, yeah. Yeah, he still use it. I've still got three bottles of it. Bit <laughs> of uh, future Martin. Future. And yes, Clinton. Fit to cars and bikes, that's what you love. I do. That's what I want to do. I've tried armor, oh, definitely not. This is like a repetitive conversation from like six weeks ago. Yeah, armor, I've got no love for. Well, sadly, I don't think aircraft have at the minute, you know, which is a shame because I do love aircraft. Um, but the F 15, I was put it back in the box. You never know, it might come back out at some point. Nice little kit that was on. I even got bored repainting that Jägermeister Beamer. I was redoing it because I wasn't happy with that body I did. Mm. I got it all painted, decal, 2 k set this start of polishing last night. I thought I can't be bothered. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> uh-huh. It takes a long time. Um, and I'll find the way and do it now a lot better. Like I said, the camera's running. It's just a massive... Uh, I bought an oversized battery for it now, so we can just sit there 
it's on all night while I'm working, but it, it means a lot of cherry picking of the footage through the editing. But I'm uh, voice moving it is way faster now. Uh, this is a new camera, isn't it? No, didn't get a new camera in the end, mate. Oh, didn't, didn't, did you? I was on the No, it was out of stock so fast. So I, did, so I bought a um, camera on the back. The battery camera, oh, the camera battery was about I think, uh, 1200 milliamps an hour. I've right. got a two and a half thousand one for 20 quid. Oh, oh perfect. So just sit there. Yeah. Like I say, <clears throat> when I used to video build, <clears throat> I'd have to click, you know, record at the point because I was talking to it, wasn't I? Yeah. Whereas now, because I'm just cherry picking what I want, it just runs. So I'll just click it on and leave it going and then go back and pick out what I want later. I think it is like that video today, and it was like four or five hours worth of footage. <laughs> we'll troll through. Um, well, that's not too bad. I think doing it that way is a bit easier on you being able to, you know, you can carry on what doing. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm filming now. Otherwise, I couldn't do it now. I couldn't be in a hangout with you a lot through the day. So it takes up a whole day. I have to plan around what I do and just makes it a long, drawn out affair. And that's what's killing me on the other one. Yeah. This is definitely a lot easier this way. I recorded my first attempt at a tutorial today, and that was hard enough. But mm -hmm. trying to do a, a whole video build was... Like you say, that first techniques guide, those first five videos, which was about three hours of footage, edited footage, were done five days consecutively. Wow. Get them out of the way. So, I mean, so if I was going to do a bike build, I don't think I'd do techniques. I'd just um, do the build. Maybe a mm -hmm. few more parts and just three. Um, yes, Claire, I am going to get Frankie's SK decals when they come out. I'm already uh, speaking to Frankie as we speak, waiting for them. I will do it. I have the paint. Oh, nice. Chris is going back to his Armour Tech 1 6 mid production Tiger. Very nice. You've been watching. Um... Oh, God, my mind. RC Sparks, Chris, with their elephant. For a few oh, they, they put any new parts of that up? Yeah, there's loads. Oh, is it? oh cool. We'll, uh, we'll get it on after the show. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. On the video. <laughs> hey. Hey. You up for it, G? Yeah. Cool. He's always up for a good length. Yeah, he'd never turn it down. He's always up for a good length. <laughs> lengthy video. Hi, <laughs> <Hi, Nick> G. <laughs> lengthy video. Yeah. Uh, so we want to get worse, G. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hour long, or a quick half hour. Decisions. Uh, I really want to review that cage room as well. I just don't know if we bother trolling through the box. It's there's a big old box. There's quite a lot in there. There's a lot more than you think. Oh, half it's yeah. hidden down below. I was mean, like, oh my god. But I think it make. A, I don't think I've ever seen a proper review. I've not. The kid room. Yeah. You're, you're the only one that does proper reviews, anyway. Paul. Oh, thanks. Oh, sorry. Um, oh, I choked one in. What's the hairs, Tim? Yeah. That's good. Uh, Mark Peacock's wondering if anybody's going to bring out um, kits of the new British carriers, the Queen Elizabeth. Ooh. And the Prince of Wales. Um, I watched, there's a documentary, it's still on iPlayer, I believe. Um, there's a three part documentary about the uh, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, that is one ship, awesome ship, yeah. yeah. Uh, really good. Flip. Uh oh, what have you done? I've just got something there, but oh, for. Oh, fiddlesticks. Yeah. Oh, fruit tellers. My fingers slipped. <laughs> Um, <laughs> how close it is not like that Dan <laughs> how did you know my brain was there Sam because mine's <laughs> as corrupt as yours Dan <laughs> you know what is worse though than dropping anything is when your finger bursts through toilet paper oh Dan <laughs> <laughs> oh the pokey oh oh, <laughs> oh and you've got a you know what I mean? And you, Where's that nail? Where's the nail? Oh, I can't find the nail. I have to pick it out. It's worse when you're in a thunderbox on site and all oh, that. You... Oh. <laughs> <It's worse laughs> when, when the dog does something, and you're picking it up. And Rachel was doing her finger with through the paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
At least uh, that's warm. Is that too graphic for you, Jimmy? Just, just, you don't need. There is. No. There is. It really, really isn't. <laughs> Clinton in chat, he'll know exactly what I mean when he's. Anyway. Yeah. Moving on a touch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yes, they're doing the job. Yeah. They're very cool. They're not cheap, though, are they, mate? At all. So, uh, yeah, that's a definite big boy's toy, that one. Very nice. Very cool. Polycarps, where's my polycarps? Oh. I'm using that tracks wash that I had off you, Paul. Oh, yeah. For the first time. And uh, it's uh, identical colour to what I mixed up to actually paint the tracks in so you can't even see it. There you go, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did... Um, uh, got what a brown and NATO black to paint them with the mix, and it's literally uh, you, apart from being a bit shiny when it's wet, there's no difference. <laughs> but hey, jeez, <coughs> ah, gutters, gutters. Follow them tonight, mate. Follow them tonight. <sighs> yeah, you lay them down, will them, pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Stanley Fletcher, you have been now. Norman, uh, Dina wants to know what do you use in your extractor hood for a filter? Yes, the normal. Mm -hmm. You're using the the kitchen type extractor. That's just the normal cheap ones from eBay. Or you can go to the, these like now these little mini market type shops, and they normally have them in there. They come in a roll for about five, four or five quid. Just basically that. I was still on about extractor filters or toilet paper. Extractor filters, mate. <laughs> oh, you, you yes. don't want the toilet roll from the corner shop. <laughs> he has that shiny. <laughs> that is at least four layers. <laughs> did you uh, did you hear my joke the other day, Was it funny? <laughs> no, no, I just covered that. It was funny, but. <laughs> it was funny, but go on. Let this hear one. I, I can't because it's some. Some people might take it the wrong way. <laughs> no, some people will be us. No. <laughs> it, would it be them? It could be anybody. Would it be oh, them? Be Nigel. Wouldn't be them <laughs> people. Would it? No, I don't remember. I don't remember. G. I'll tell you after. Oh, no, something is coming to re uh, remembrance about your bad joke. Yeah. I've been very silent in here for a very short amount of time. No, it was a good joke. It wasn't a bad joke. So you must be getting confused. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, so I sprayed the old um, splash metalizers for the first time today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very nice, aluminium is a good color. Um, steel was a little bit dark, I thought, and uh, wasn't that impressed by the titanium. It was like Camia XF uh, 11. Oh, 11, yeah, it is 11, I think. They're matte, aluminium with a blue tinge to it. I didn't like the color. So I think it's one of those ones where, like a vowel clad, I don't use the vowel to the cover on the bottle. I just use it by eye for everyone. It's very nice. So we'll do a, uh, just, just out of interest, Paul, what, what base coat did you put them over? Um, just UMP black. Ah, fire blue. Uh, as mad as it, I know it sounds mad, but just try blue. Know what you mean? No, I, I put all mine over a black and they come out the colours they should be. Um, but I think it's just a case of not using them. Like with even the AKs, I don't use them with the colour on the bottle. I go with whatever colour I think it looks like. Um, I, th I think you remember, you remember seeing that picture of all, all the Alclad colours. Yeah, well, they, they look nothing like what they're supposed to. Yeah, I think that's probably the best idea to do when you do, when you've got um, actual uh, yeah. metallics. Is put them over a black and a grey base. 
and have, have them as like little swatches so you can go, right, what colour do I want this to be? And yeah. you know what to do it. Uh, Mike, uh, the way things are at the minute, I'd, I'd go ASAP, mate. Really, seriously. Next week is going to be mental. Um, you'd be lucky. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd order over the weekend of our mate, to make sure you get it. Because next week's going to start really getting manic, isn't it, for Christmas? There's no official cutoff for the uh, courier because they still deliver. Um, there's no guarantee to get there. There is a delay at the minute. Stuff is taking slightly longer to get there. Even Royal Mail is not next day at the minute. Taking its time. Pete saying, hey guys, we'll be working with getting an air purifier to get rid of dust and pet hair from the air in my modeling cave. Every time I leave something to drive to paint and it gets dust, I don't think it's going to make any difference, mate, to be honest. Do that regularly. Uh, cover things up once you painted them. I was going to say, get big, the biggest Tupperware box you can find and just sit it over the whatever model or, you know what I mean, just cover it up. I'll put mine in a, uh, in a big airtight box for three days when I've got all glass on it. I know. I you would don't do it airtight because it would probably be a bit weird on drying, wouldn't it? No, it dries better. Okay. Um, I what I usually do is take loads of stuff out of one drawer, from the those plastic drawers behind me, and I just plonk that on top, make sure it's clean. Plonk that on top. I've I thought about buying a special one, a particular one tub for using just to do that, but I was like, well, I'll just end up putting stuff in anyway. Yeah, I've ended up putting stuff on top on it. Yeah, exactly. I go draw, draw for all my stuff. Just to yeah. draw, keep for all, anything painted. All the TK stuff goes straight in. Right yeah. next to the spray booth as well, so really handy to get to. That's quite a good idea, actually. That. Mm-hmm. Buy the drawer here. I'd end up filling up with stuff. Uh, well, let's take. Um, uh, no, if it's no, if it, if you start using it as a dedicated drying drawer, then I don't think you would. Do you do enough painting to need a dedicated dry and dry and draw? I do. Uh, that you do. <laughs> if, if if my mojo's high, then I probably would. Yeah. Uh, don't know. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Dan. Ordinarily, what I just use is an air dryer. My missus's air dryer. I just use that. How <laughs> so do I? Normally, Norma uses a straightener. Air curls. <laughs> and that's just for his eyebrows. <laughs> Actually, trim the eyebrows tonight. They were long. Yeah, P, clean our drawer, mate. Honestly, as soon as it's painted, pop it in the drawer. I'll still make sure the drawer's clean as well. Um, do a, do a hoover out. But every time I'm going to clear coat, Hannah very kindly hoovers my bed for me. Because uh, she's a demon with a hoover. <laughs> and I'm really lazy. Um, <laughs> uh, clean out the like Hey, that sounds like me. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and the spray booth's completely emptied. All the paint bottles are taken out, and it gets brand new paper in there. And you might also find wet in the area as well. Um, might reduce the dust a little bit. Um, yeah, pet hair is a nightmare. Running stuff for the dogs it used to be in with me every day. It was an absolute thing. Yep. I've only got the one because not in there often now. I'm still finding air from my Jack Russell. He's been gone a year. Yeah, I think it's everywhere, mate, doesn't it? Oh. That's you. Raccoon says, good evening, all a bit late tonight. Ah, a bit late than ever. There's 144 watching. Hi, hey, Mark. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everybody. Awesomeness. Howdy. Scott's still with us. I am. He is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Working away. He's modelling like a trooper. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> modelling. Modeling. Star trooper. You he just came to see my Victoria's yeah. Secret outfit 
that's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you. I don't want to see them pictures, so honest. Well, I was waiting for Graham to come sit on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> no, dear Graham, you only regret it. <laughs> people don't know what private jokes i think we should share them i think he is think treading on very very thin ice <laughs> anyone who can guess what we're talking about when the ump goodie stop it please <laughs> You'd be shocked. that's all i'll say i would ask you nicely <laughs> I, 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 I said a thing. totally <laughs> disgusted just stop. Stop. Let's just say it's been an entertainment. I like your you guys, and I value your friendship. Any <laughs> Clinton guys, Clinton's in the chat? Yep. Disgusting. Chunk knows all about it. I was going to say, trouble. Chunk's probably not breathing about now. He's probably wheezing and coughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Graham regrets. <laughs> yeah. um, Timmy. Yes, darling. When do you finish work? Um, let's have a look at the dates. I don't actually know. You know that he's not available to take your dad anymore, so. Sam. <laughs> I think my last day is next Friday. Next Friday. Hey, there you go. Uh, yeah, I think my last day is Friday twenty-first. I think so. We're we'll probably getting out and then the post. Would you like it to go to your work at the house? Um, are you are you posting it now or when? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Work then, please. If it does, thank you. You know, sir. No problem, man. Don't worry. Is your, is your work open over the weekend, Tim? Yeah, next weekend. No. All right. I was going to send you something, so we got there on the Saturday, so we had to go all the way back to work together. <laughs> didn't, that happen, didn't that happen last year? Well, I think it did. Yeah, yeah it did. all the way back into work, like on the yeah. way back to. I know because that's I, I had quite an extra lot of extra time off. To be honest, I've actually got loads of extra time off. I think I'm just going to take it the other side of uh, Christmas. Though. Hmm. Which my, my boss doesn't really know yet. <laughs> it's one of those that you, like, you got loads of time off. Like in ten, loads of time off. Oh, I, oh yeah, I, we're a bit busy at the moment. Oh, cool. We breaking up on twenty first, and I'm not going back till at least second week in January, maybe. Perfect time. Don't know when I'm off. Oh, wait, Dan. You got Sam? You not heading off anywhere? No, I'm just going to relax and let the world pass me by. Happy days. We had a horrible one today. It was freezing cold today, and I, oh, I ate it. Yeah, it was cold. I let the dog out, and the wind blew me, so I came up here in the heat. <laughs> I had to sit here from 10 o'clock this morning. It was terrible. Oh, I feel your pain, Sam. Yeah. Lad, it was, was absolutely horrendous this morning. Well, put it this way. I wore, you know, proper like freezer gloves. They've got thermal fleecy stuff on inside. I wore a pair of them this morning. Yeah. It was that cold. It was, it was scary cold. I've been in a T-shirt and a pair of shorts all day. I'm in a pair of, a pair of shorts and a T-shirt now. Yep. I wanted, yeah, no. If I went out in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt this morning, I'd have died. Postman came, you thought he'd been skiing? Not really there. <laughs> he looked at me in t-shirt and a pair of shorts and just shook his head. <laughs> Lovely and warm, Ryan. It's toasty in here. Just the way it should be. Happy days. Although they've predicted a bit of snow tomorrow. Whether we get any is a different kettle of fish. I think you should have got it tomorrow. We're getting some on Sunday, maybe. It did look like a big band of it's coming. Is yeah. that we get we've got like lots of wet weather and then lots of cold weather slapping against each other in the uh well, what I've seen this morning, it's snowing morning tomorrow, and then about midday it brightens up and then about half three tomorrow afternoon it turns to rain. Nice. But they also say in Scotland's getting a crap ton of snow tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm glad I live in England. <laughs> That's how like Scotland's. Yeah. Common live in Northern Ireland, the second rainiest place in the UK. See After that? Just, 
rain i'd rather work in if i if i'm out at work and it starts snowing i'll stay at work but if it if i'm out at work and it starts raining no nope, that's so demoralizing you know like first bit of steel you put on your shoulder and it runs down your back and it's in your pants and it's oh, <laughs> just awful and the boards the boards are like sponges sometimes you know because they've been up there for like three four weeks or something and they've had loads of rain on and then you put them on your shoulder and you think oh that's oh no and it's horrible <laughs> I mean, it's it's not just water, is it? It's it's dirty, wet water. Oh, dirty slurry. It's disgusting. Even worse than that, Dan is mucking out horses with a, a sack when oh. it's stopping down, carrying it on your back. Oh. Yeah, I won't do that. Must have been like Santa Claus with me with a little in your bag. <laughs> What's in your sack, no? Brown <laughs> stuff, mate. <laughs> It's good for your roses. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'll look good in the end though, mate. Right, I'm gonna mute myself while I just uh, do some aqua glossing. On a side note, Anybody who is using Aquagloss, don't fire it on at high PSI. Just don't. Or shake, or shake it. Or shake it. Yeah, don't shake. I'm Anywhere done. between 12, 12 and 15 PSI. Yeah. Perfect. Nice thin codes. Build it up. Yep. Don't make sure it doesn't pool anywhere. Yeah, because that's just going to look awful. I'll be back in one moment. I'm doing this. <clears throat> right. Suspension. I know what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Halifax. Mm -hmm. Fill it. Mm -hmm. She was only a fishmonger. No. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Hey, hey, Matthew, what do you see? There we go. 
Uh, what's going on in the chat? Andy Callis off all week. Excellent. Is Graham a secret wet welly wanger? What? Okay, no idea. <laughs> Martin's off, Sir Martin. Uh, uh, Philip likes your lights, Sam. Sweet. Well, John's laughing at the fact you said Sunny Belfast. What? Um, people are saying finished. Mark's retired. Excellent. And there you go. Right, what goes where? So we've got. <clears throat> Very quiet. Mm. Your plans for tomorrow then, Graham? Um, I've got the kids all day. She's off out doing that silly thing that people do at this time of year. So I've got the kids all day. So that will depend on weather. Mm -hmm. Hello, well. I'm doing tomorrow. What happened then, Sam? Taking the dog to the vet. Half nine. And then I shall be up here starting something new. Oh. With a bit of luck. Unless I get told I'm doing something else, you know. But she who has to be obeyed. Or you can use Lavalin for the clear. Or you're in P. Mm. Quiet. Naturally quiet, you see. Mm. You're back to normal now after that storm, Scott. Yeah. Cool. For now. You got more coming then. Yeah. Uh, there's supposed to be a big storm now. It's been raining all day. Things are starting to flood out again. It's that time of year. Yeah, do it inside, Claire. Just from uh, the mask. Is Tim there? No. Yes, I'm just washing brushes. They're making making noise. What's up? Um, Tim, Steve's asking if there's any forecast on the Tamiya new Tamiya spit. Very soon. Oh, I, I thought you could actually already buy it. <clears throat> Have a look at Jadlam, Steve, because I think they sent an email today mentioning that. Yeah, that's, uh, I thought that was pretty much virtually already out and available, to be honest. Yeah, I've actually seen it come up on any of the other searches. So yeah, it might, it might still be on a on a boat somewhere, going slowly from a country. It's not England or France. Right, let me refresh my water. I can 
clean the brushes. John, so have you seen the part of not spit? No, I've John. Hello, I'm back. Ooh. No, yeah, I've got all my brushes now. All brushes so sort of got the paint off now. You clean mm. the master's brush cleaner and preserver. What do you use, Tim? Hey, what do you use? That's a, it's, the, it's the master's brush cleaner and preserver. All right, good. Look. Did all of my own night with that. Take care, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Mike, take care, Mike. Great stuff. Great stuff cleaning that brushes out. It really is. I had a couple that had obviously been left with God knows what in them, and they were rock solid. Mm -hmm. um, and literally just uh, what I do is because you get like a natural well in your pot, don't you? Yeah. I just put a few drops of water in there and use it as like a little well and just swirl the brush around a couple of times, no pressure on it. Leave it to soak for half an hour, and it's just good as new. Really good stuff. Yeah, I'll try and make sure it gets all inside all the bristles. Mm -hmm. and make then, sure I leave it, leave it with the with the uh, the stuff in in the correct shape. Work it in with your fingers rather than trying to mash it in on the bottom of the. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll once what what I do is I then I leave them sit, I'll go through them all, leave them to sit, then just. Put a, I put a bit of water actually on my bench, mm -hmm. and I put it on there, and then uh, yeah, just rub it in with your fingers and yeah, shape it, it nicely. I was watching a program this morning. Um, combat dealers, it's called. Guy obviously he buys and sells Second World War stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, the Americans when they were jumping out of the planes, they'd have a compass on their wrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for obvious reasons, and that uh, glowed in the dark, and apparently. A lot of the women in the factory where they painted the hands. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the luminous paint, they would, instead of putting a brush in the water, they'd have licked the brush to get a point on it and put it back in the stuff. And about 20 of them died in a yeah. couple of years from uh, radiation poisoning. Yeah. You know where they, there's a, there's a place in the UK where they broke up all the spitfires and hurricanes. Uh -huh. and the beach has actually got where they broke them up they've got a load of radioactive signs saying warning people radioactivity because of all the uh, dials that got smashed up at the time right well i didn't know that you said i thought well, yeah. Said yeah they used to um there was one of the factories. I, I don't know if it was the same one but i've i've heard other stories of i think it was probably a clockmaker or a watchmaker uh -huh. um, and the 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 women it was predominantly women that worked in the factory and they would actually for a laugh they would put the stuff on their teeth so that they glowed in the dark when they got home and stuff and, mm -hmm. and then all their teeth fell out in the dark. <laughs> yep yeah well these these 20 died the radiation poison yeah yeah that would be yeah yeah Really good that combat dealer's call. He bought a complete German parish trooper uniform um, for the put into one of the canisters that would have been dropped after the, the troops. Complete uniform. I think it was like 37,000 euro. Wow. Never been worn. It's a big lot of money, isn't it? Big lot of money. He had a guy waiting on a bad off him. He wanted four complete uniforms. <clears throat> I 
I've um, yeah, I've just been talking about that the other day. Actually, so, uh, it does. I'm, I need to. I still haven't got around to ordering a charger for it, but I'm gonna. I, I need to use it now because the one that I have been using, the cam camcorder I'm talking about, uh, the camcorder I've been using is um, is rubbish at uh, focusing close up. So um, it will be employed in the next few weeks. Um, I just need to uh, to get myself a charger. I just keep forgetting. Did you ever post all that stuff off, man? Yeah? All what stuff, mate? The stuff you were posting off and forgot about. Mm. Forgot about it again. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trust people. Is there one reason Graham's got the post up nice and early this week, isn't there, Graham? Say again, mate. Is there one reason the posts went up nice and early this week, isn't there, Graham? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I got a <laughs> I got a late night message from Tim. Don't forget to put your posts up. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> Look, my dad's looking out for me. <laughs> I wouldn't call that. I'd call him more like um, the uncle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, the touchy feel, the uncle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a bit too touchy. <laughs> what do you mean you want to kiss? I'm 14. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I did try and charge it um, with because I, I wanted. To, there's nothing in the manual to say that you can charge it like just by plugging a wire in, but I tried it and the little green light came on, but it wasn't charging, so I gave up. Um, I'll order one. They're only a tenner. I'll get one ordered next week or week after probably once the madness is finished. And you got that right. Once the madness is finished. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Tim. Yeah. yeah. What does Trisha want for Christmas? Gotta do it, Tim. <laughs> Not what everyone got with us. Uh, Tim, I think you get slapped if you did buy those. Ah, <laughs> um, funny though, wasn't it? I might mean, just have to look for them. Yeah, you said you said that's all you wanted. Yeah, <laughs> run the link for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to the ropers at the same time, isn't it? <laughs> Tim, come on back. <clears throat> That's bad. Yeah. You want the link for the man, the link for the new hostel you'll be staying in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have a maiden model vomit on my tornado tail. You'll have to watch my video and find out, won't you? Mm -hmm. um, it's supposed to look like moss, but thanks it's for that. <laughs> very snag sna snagnant. What? <laughs> what? I was like, very stagnant. They are very nice. Looks like my uh, my things frozen on the screen under YouTube's. Oh yeah, so funny. Sorry, it clicked. There you go. That must have been only me. You, you, Scott, that got booted out. Yeah. Why would you do that? Right, I'm just going to let them grab a drink before Dan starts doing his thing because I want to watch. Back in a tick. I'm gonna laugh at her. Very quiet again. Typing, sorry. It's messaging Daz. Well, aunt's answering Daz. <clears throat> no idea if that's where that goes, but that's where it is. That's the worst when your thing gets frozen. Is that frozen, John? She's no one's talking. Yeah, it's often worse when your thing gets frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, I might do a bench update in the morning and then do that review on Sunday. 
Which sounds good. I think. Who is the most under kit in the stash? So, out of us, like Norman. Yeah, I'd imagine. <laughs> I haven't got about 150, I think. They're all cars and bikes. I'd check, but uh, Skelmix is down. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's been down all day, mate. It's been down since yesterday. Yeah, it's gone, crashed. Yeah, so two two hard drives crashed on them. Yeah. So, so he's, no. he's got backups till the 1st of December. Do you know, it's weird. Is we were so, recently we were saying, do you know, it's really going, yeah. so, going so slow. Some parts are going slow. Some parts are going quick. So I think they've been uh, they've been going on wrong for a little while. But hey, that's what happens. Well, here's a good name on eBay: one twenty four scale model cars on its aircraft. One seventy second aircraft. Yeah, put in the wrong section. I've just checked all the boxes. I've ticked all the right boxes. Yeah, it's whoever's selling. It's from the wrong section, probably. Yeah. Um, my dad has been banned from from eBay by eBay for a week. He was selling something, uh, selling some old tires, right? And he's uh, said uh, the, the person was, who was going to buy them said, "Can I come and check them before you, you buy?" Yeah, fine. Here you go. Here's my address. Come over and see them. eBay have seen it. You've been banned for a week because you're you're yeah. allowing someone to come to you. He's like, yeah, they want to inspect the tires. You you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. He's like, he's, I, he's, I'll sell them through eBay because that's where I posted them. I'll sell, still sell them through eBay, but a person wouldn't have physically see them. He lives like three miles down the road. Can I just pop down and just make sure they are fine for what I need them for? No, that's it. Banned for a week. Yeah. Don't eBay are ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I know I can understand they're trying to protect themselves, yeah, from people being out uh, trying to do deals outside of eBay and then not making the money. Why would how would that work then? If you were going to look at a car that you were on about buying, but you wanted to look before you bid it, no, that's different because you're paying for the ad. When you sell something on eBay in the normal bids. You say a, you pay a percentage of the force of the sold price. When you put a car up for sale, you pay for the ad. You don't pay a percentage of when the car sells. No, you do. You still pay. Yeah, you do. You pay for the sale. Yeah, it's that. Uh, okay, but they they allow they allow you to go and visit see the cars on the. No way around that, is there? So surely you'd be able to allow to go and view the tires. That's what we thought as well. Well, I, I thought the same as well. At the, end of, at the end of the day, though, to be fair, look at it from the other side. It's a business, oh, yeah. and they're trying to protect the business. Too. Yeah, I, I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying it's right. I know, but you can see why they're doing it. No, you yeah, know, I can totally understand. Well, if, they weren't, if they weren't strict on it, yeah. then yeah, but it's. it's uh... yeah, eBay is a pain. Um, look, in a good way, they protect sellers. Yeah, as a seller. 95% of the time, eBay's got you back. I have one the other day. That's soup. Um, Skyline, I bought that R32 with all the broken pillars. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, when I said to him, you know, I wanted a refund, or I even said, look, even a partial refund will do it because there was wheels in the kit I wanted yeah. uh, and things like that. And uh, he was really snotty with me. Well, I said in my ad, if you want to see things, you could ask for close in pictures. Like, well, eBay doesn't work like that. If there's faults, you list it. That's that. Yeah. It arrives, not as described. Someone is going to, you know, pull you on it. And that's what happened. And he's like, uh, go through eBay, let them sort it. So eBay's call straight away is return the item. So I did. And the next minute, he's like, I've been on touch with the uh, post office to get your partial refund. I was like, well, it's a bit late. It's on the way back to you. And he's like, I never agree to return. I was like, you don't have to. eBay does. <laughs> um, and then he refused the delivery, the bugger. And it ended up in a short enough and sat there for about three days. Um, I had to ring um, eBay, the tracker number, and finally got a refund. I was just like, these eBay sellers that don't check stuff get on my nerves. Yeah. Who's, who's going to write the accept stuff that's broke? Or you know, I think, ah, oh, well, you know, never mind. Half of them don't look in the box, you know. The amount of kits I've had with destroyed decals. And not like a few cracks. Literally, you could sand wood with them. <laughs> that knackered. Um, or bits missing or broken. It just baffles me. 
I said, you've got, you've got to be honest with people. You, you've just got to be as honest. Mm -hmm. If it turns up and there's something you miss, you go, okay, sorry, missed that. Well, it's a genuine mistake. I don't mind. Yeah. And like I say, I'll offer them out. You know, half the time, if it's a kit and I can get it cheap, I'll use it for part. part. I don't mind. Yep. You know, if I can get it for half the cost and it's, you know, missing a screen, I'll, I'll have it. Just for the sake of, you know, getting the parts. And it's always rare kits, you know, that come wrapped in wood chip. Tim. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely. Lovely. You're like, oh my god. What are you sending me there, Tim? I know all that. Uh, Graham, I know uh, Graham, oh my god, Sam. Yeah. It, it's always a rare kit. You get you'll get the run of the mill kit you can buy every day for 17 quid. Comes perfectly packaged in the box. The really expensive, hard to find kit comes with a wrapper paper. Or a pop bubble, a pop bubble wrap around it. Yeah, well that stops an 18 stone postman sitting on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kicking it around the, the office. Mad, and then you get there. Well, I've never had a problem before. No, well, you are now. I just paid like 60 odd quid for this rare kit, it's all broke. I ordered some Albion tube, yeah. and uh, it came in an envelope with the, with a little bit of cardboard at one end. I mean, where's yeah. been in the post? They'd all bent in half, but not, 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 not like totally folded, but they were all bent. So, I contacted the center. I was like, they're all bent, I need them straight, they're all bent. Oh, it's never happened before. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't care what's happened before. Never had yeah. anyone home before. Well, maybe you should think about it a bit more. I, I bought a kit off a boy and he sent it to me on Wednesday, Thursday. Mm. And when the box arrived, I thought, this feels empty. I mean, this kit was a small box. I mean, it was so well, cool. Yeah. Right? I had to physically get a black bag and empty all the packing peanuts out <laughs> to find the kit. And then when I got the kit, there was a whole pile of packing peanuts on it. Perfectly, you know, sent. Perfectly. Yeah. I'll tell you now, mate, we've been in this retail postal business for coming to five years now. The amount of stuff I've seen has just been wrecked by post. Not, I don't think I've got raw mail. Anyone. Uh, couriers, EPS, DHL, you heard. Yeah. Uh, Hermes gets a bad rap, and it's not that bad. All I mean, it, it's down to your local picker upper, but statistically, we've had less problems with Hermes than we did with Royal Mail. Mm. And that stuff that went missing with Royal Mail is ridiculous, which is why we went back to using couriers. Um, but nothing surprised me now. It's everything I post out. So if you've had something off me, it's well packed. Yeah, with the box, you know, and exactly like we do with UMP stuff, it's just well packaged. You have to plan ahead for the uh, unavoidable kicker. You know, th these things are lobbed around, you know, a system, chucked in vans, cars, launched 20 foot across your garden. <laughs> yeah, it all happens. Yeah. So, you know, pay, pay attention to that. I must say, I got a couple of kits from Frey at Model Emporium this week, oh, yeah. and they were packed so well. Yeah. Frey packs them really well. Fantastic. Oh, uh, so does Ed as well. Yeah. Uh, they both pack up. and we do as well. I think we do. Yeah. Um, uh, right now, just me a question, Paul. Do you do reviews blind, or do you check the kit out before you turn the camera on? Looking forward to that one twelve review. Right now, if you'll notice my reviews, all the bags are normally sealed, mate. Um, what I'll do is um, every kit I get again from buying stuff off eBay, <laughs> it's a brand new kit. I go through the kit and make sure everything's there. So unless it's something like I've been waiting on phrase, like the Audi Quattro, I was through that having a good look. Didn't open it, but I had a good look at everything first. But I'd say 95% of my reviews are done blind. Half the time, I've got a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, was, I, I couldn't tell you what part half these things are. And I'm, I'm not a, you know, I love motorsport and I love cars, but I don't pay attention to what every single little bit and bob is and diesel and stuff. I just blunder my way through the review. At the end of the day, I'm not there. My, my idea of review, I'm not there to point out what lever does what, what you know, specific brake caliber it is. Caliper. Um, I'm there to point out the quality of the kit and that there's no flaws with it. But yeah, I'm, I'm, nearly all my reviews done blind. Uh, question from Gaz Vickers. Uh, what gunk wash would you use on uh, for World War II desert scheme? Oh. Depends on the if it's Axis or yeah, what theatre where it is. Yeah, colour camo. 
you know, if you're in a desert, it's just most of it's just dust and sand. Bit dust. Bit dust. Bit, bit, of, cake. bit of cake. Um, by gunk wash, do you mean the sludge wash? Must like, a, a, like a clay wash type thing. Or like a oil wash, maybe. Yeah. We'll go with sand would probably have been. Yeah. UMP, UMP sand's really good. And then you can you light, light dirt. Mix them with light dirt on mud light, to change light, the tones. Too dark, keep it all nice and light. Yeah. And check what region as well, because in some places the sand in the desert that could be like a red type of sand or a you know, different colored types of sand, different areas. You just yep. said it's RAF dark stone and yellowish. Yeah, go for sand colours. Uh, sand or if you've got UMP light there, that kind of colour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yes, Claire, that's a pet hate of mine as well. What's it? that? It's in the chat. I'm not reading. I've had enough hate this week already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and they get removed from other groups. <laughs> They're getting thrown off ISM in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, I'll have a word with Graham for you. <laughs> Dad, he's thrown up what we're going to do. Damn. Mm. There's all my chassis done anyway. Mm. Very specific there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very pleased with the UMP Steiner Res Primer, by the way. We used off that in 240, 270ml bottle, maybe 18 to £19.50. <laughs> that sounds like a sketch off Little Britain. Margaret! <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> <laughs> right, gentlemen, here looking for UMP Primer in a 240, 270ml bottle, maybe 18 to £19.50. What was that? <laughs> We've only got 220ml for £17. Will that do? No. No. <laughs> no. Margaret! Oh. Um, no. No, we're, we're dictated by whatever sizes um, Badger bottles are in. And I don't think they do that size. I think it jumps straight up to the big bottles, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, we, we'll only stock what sells because it costs us a lot of money. Yeah. No point in having money tied up in stock that nobody's buying. What you should do, uh, Power Wolf, is buy two 120 mil bottles. Yeah. For whatever they cost. £18. It'd be 18 to £19.50, probably. It would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Tim, John Evans asking, what's your fascination with World War One aircraft? Yeah, um, he's crap at World War Two ones. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, I would. <laughs> you don't know your friends are, Tim, don't you? Really? Where's what's his name sticking out for me? Um, do you know what? They, it's, it was an era where there was very little. They, they had very little. I, I can still imagine you're in a World War II aircraft and there's still a very thin layer of metal, although it must feel a bit more like it's going to stop a bullet. They were just in canvas and they were they were gentlemen flying planes and trying to shoot each other. And they're more trying to shoot the planes than the actual people just to stop the planes. It's just you know, it's just an era that's really quite quite interesting for aviation. All It's all at the start before it all really... Was actually popular. Uh, like, well, not say popular before the before the army and the uh, and the cavalry actually saw the actual real potential of it. They only only really started coming in then, and then after that, it was realised how good it was, and it all took off as such. Hey. Uh, now, if you want to know a true World War One aircraft fan, you need to contact Dan Cook. Oh, he loves them. Oh, well, oh, Dan yeah. doesn't know about World War One aircraft. Isn't well. Yeah. So look at Dan Cook on ISM, and if you've got any questions uh, about anything related to World War One, doesn't you have to be aircraft. He's a proper fanboy. If you want to answer a question, contact Dan Cook. After yeah. this goes over, I'll put a link to his Facebook page in the description yeah. down below. 
If you want to contact him, feel free. Every day, no matter what happens, there's always a World War One subject. Uh, he's an insomniac. He doesn't sleep. So you can contact him night or day. <laughs> doesn't matter. He um, just loves World War One. He loves he just it. Loves it. If you're looking at stress building uh, F-14 afterburners or control tanners, towers. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy's your man. <laughs> Or control tanners as well, you know. But we want randomly add into a mass group chat at one a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Again, Timmy's your man. <laughs> I want a full apology. Dan doesn't know about World War One. Yeah, Dan Cook. Oh, what a fanatic. Yeah. Uh. Borders on obsession, to be honest, isn't it? He's yeah. a bit obsessed. We have to tell him to calm down now and again because he just keeps oh, going. World, 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 on this. world War One, that <laughs> never stops, does it, Dan? No, it's, it's, it loves it. Absolutely loves it. I can't get enough. Can't get enough. Right. Um... Ready when you are, by the way. Okay, buddy. Let me just. Oh, God. Hey guys, I'm getting off. So. Oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny noises. Is this about the subject on World War One? It's called. I wonder what the tweezers were doing. The tweezers were doing on your bench. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, have fun then. Now, see you right. then. Oh. Have a good rest of your birthday. Have a good birthday, buddy. Thanks, Thanks for the gift, guys. Who could do be on me? Love you. Yeah. See you guys. Have a good one. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, sweet baby Jesus and the orphans. Right, what else have we got to read? Let's have a look. Uh, the the model bow hand worker just joined. Hello. Margaret Thatcher. The model bow hand worker. Hamburger? Mm-hmm. Do we already mm -hmm. have to catch up on there? A uh, little bit. Um... So, RC UK scale models. Hi, all. I have um, F18 Blue Angels by Kinetic. The color is Blue Angels. Blue. Um, I cannot find the right shade of blue. Can you help me, please? Um, no, man. If I remember right, testers doesn't match for that. Testers, I. Yeah, you won't get it in the, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Dan, you're off, mate. Uh, I think you have to just match that by eye, buddy. I don't think anybody. MRP? Uh, Maybe. I don't know. It's a proper niche colour, that, isn't it? Yeah. It's, I know testers did it. They did the proper colour. Yeah. Uh, who else does it? I'm not saying Model Master, but that's testers, isn't it? Yeah. Model Master, yes. Uh, model, model Master. Uh, hold on. Apparently, Valerio do it. Oh, yeah, I think they do, actually, yeah. Valero, does it? Yeah, Vallejo. Vallejo! Vallejo. Valero. It's number 71.090. Oh, I love, just love Vallejo's uh, concise numbers, don't you? Yeah. Rolls off the tongue. Extra Gary Pasty's uh, an extra colour? I'm not seeing extra colour. Well, the enamels or extra colour, so I don't know, but... Yeah. So I would imagine extra color, extra color would have done that. Maybe I would have thought so. They, they do, yeah. they do, do those. Uh, do 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 do. They do do that though, don't they? Do. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do the hand. You didn't do the hand. <laughs> they do do that though, don't they? Do. It's so bad. It's it's good. <laughs> they actually do do it. Extra color. Do do it. <laughs> bad deal. Give me that one. Calm down. Calm down. You telling him to calm down? Me? Yeah, you can get extra color. Do it is FS one five O's five two. Uh, Master Toy Max says pre World War Two stuff's neat because no one yet knew the best way to make planes or tanks. Mm. So designs could get really goofy, not different. Yep. I love the pusher ones. Yeah, they're quite cool. <laughs> I like the ones where the gunner has to stand up. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ones you know, reach around. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. uh, they have to reach out sometimes and pull, pull a lever. Yeah. <laughs> um, literally having a box of bombs at their feet so they could just drop them over the yeah. side. <laughs> they train them really, really well with my eye. You see them? They literally they pick it out the side and you're standing there 
And they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? No, I missed that one. That's absolutely <laughs> bonkers. That beam is nice, isn't it, Sam? Isn't it? I thought you'd like that. It's a bit steep, though. It is a bit the expensive I'm side. I've got them new at Domino. Yeah. People than that. It's a Snitcher one. That's why I thought, oh, I know he'll like that. Very nice. I'm sure they've got it at... Um... Yeah, I've seen them on Domino. I've had about 35 quid over there. Mm. Right, we all caught up. Yeah. Right, I'm going to sit back and relax for a bit and watch this. Go on, Dan. Off you Come go. On, Dan, yo. Come on, Dan. Oh, 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 sweet man, the man. Get ready for some gargled, crackling noises. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be Friday without them. Nope. Where's my mouse gone? There he is. Oh, dear me. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Pips. Hello. We're going to start on the forum as always. Ooh. And this is Smoke Rider Don. Oh, uh, he's wrapped up the Revell 1 144th C17. Uh, he's made it dirty, perhaps a bit too much. So, uh, yeah, he rather likes it. It's his model. Uh, model Master Paint AMC Grey. Uh, imagine that, a grey plane. Uh, oh, the milky spots on the lower front windows are because he managed to knock the kit parts into the plane and had to make the windows from crystal clear. And it's still oh. not fully dried when he took the picks. I quite like that, though. Mm. Yeah, well done. Nice, nice work. Good looking plane, though. I don't like planes, but I quite like that one. Yeah, season cool. seems a nice plane. Uh, this is Physio next. Uh, it says at last finished after awaiting a new canopy from Revell, Germany. Uh, the finished. Uh, it was ruined by aerosol spraying with a can of humble clear glass, tss, mm. which gave mm. an aircraft left out in the snow look. Uh, this was partly remedied by applying several coats of Windsor Newton satin acrylic varnish, and is still relearning this hobby. I'd love to know what it is. That looks well. Eurofighter, that. It's a Eurofighter. Yeah, but it doesn't say, does it? I'm going to say it's the Revell 172nd Eurofighter. I know it don't say mm -hmm. it, but nice yeah, fun. I know what you're saying, Jay. Don't be pedantic. Not it, really. And it, Physio again. Uh, it says third and very last Revell kit that is built and ever will build uh, since returning to this hobby. It's a very poor kit. The leg struts are too short for the wheels. Hang on, is this the same person? Yeah. Yes, this is his second entry. Right, just one, one per week, please. Well. I'm going to let it slide because it's on forum and it could do with traffic, if I'm honest. I don't know what this is either. Uh, that's that's not quite good. Apparently, note fits because of the canopy won't fit because of radio, thinks it's too big, cockpit floor is way too wide, had to be shaved and sanded tons to make the fuse large fit, uh, and so on, etc. He's going to stick with all other model manufacturers and he's still learning about weathering. But yeah, that's a. I don't even know what that plane is. Lovely, um, lovely, lovely thing. I'm guessing it's a mozzie. It, it looks really mozzie, lovely. but I don't know about that nose. I didn't think we had it's that nose. Yeah, that's the bomber version. There were lots of ah. variants, weren't there? We'll slide on to Mr. Maverick 231 next. Ooh. And this week on the 170 seconds, there's the MiG 144 flat pack. Uh, he's not had much time at the bench since last Friday, but he masked and painted the dark areas using Vallejo model air uh, medium gunship grey. Uh, tidied up the paintwork after a masking, uh, put a good layer of pledge clear on and painted the other side of the canards uh, and gear doors using Vallejo model air uh, gold light blue. Uh, if all goes to plan next week, should be the last time he bore, bores us with this one. Mm. I tell you something for one seventy second. That's a beast. Mm. Yeah, it's a big birdie. Mm -hmm. uh, this is F twenty seven packs next, and here's uh, the beginning of work on the Eastern Express one one forty four Fokker fifty. Uh, it has what you might call fit issues. Uh, if it avoids the rubbish bin, it will be decked out in the colours of either Sky West or Virgin Australia. And if he likes the end result enough, he might make another one. In the other scheme, we will see. A lot of filler in 
work put on there, isn't it? Mm. I want to say it's, uh, it, yeah, it looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> not not the actual plane, the fit issues. Because you can see where it don't fit, can't you? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, yeah. Um, <laughs> Just you know, in a book to fill it'd be fine. You know, on CV aircraft, like that, do you have, um, is, is there any sort of need for rescribing? Are the panel lines noticeable? Uh, they will be on the wings, but I'm not sure about the fuselage. Mm. Okay. Well, so you've got all your control surfaces on wings and whatnot. Mm. But I don't do planes anyway, so I, I avoid that nightmare. Uh, this is Warped Crisis. Uh, and three finishes this time. Uh, a Ravel 63 Chevy Impala SS. Ultimate Grey Primer, Arclad 2 Candy Red for the body and Zero's Textured Black. Uh, inside is Zero's Textured Black and Vallejo Red Leather. Uh, and a Tamiya 959 Porsche. Ultimate Grey Primer and Zero Lava Orange. Inside mm -hmm. Zero's Textured Black and Lava Orange. And last up is a Ravel Ferrari Enzo. Ultimate Grey Primer and Zero's... Uh, Medina yellow uh, inside zeros textured black and Medina yellow uh, all chrome done with a mixture of Molotow liquid chrome and alpha 2 chrome and all gloss coated with aqua gloss wet sanded Nova's polished and given a Brazilian wax not a hair to be seen uh, It says hope everybody has a good weekend and a Merry Christmas everyone yep. but I'm just gonna go back to them because you can see the shine on his cars can't you there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for aqua glass, I like the Porsche. It's good. Yeah, I like the Porsche as well. Yeah, nice work. Very nice work. Uh, this is Tomcat sixty four next, and this is his World War One GB entry. It's completed. Uh, it says here we see Major General P. Bertland, <laughs> uh, accompanied by Driver Ivers at Battle of. Telford Car Park. Uh, orders to Privates McCord, Pearson, Denison, and Scattergood of the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, the vehicle is a Resicast 135th 40 Vickers gun carrier. Uh, the driver is also by Resicast, and the other figures are from Master Box. The base is scratch built on a Games Workshop large oval base, and the paint is predominantly the Vallejo model air and model color. That's cool. I'm really this one. That is. No, that is. so nice. It's belting in it, that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I must say, I've lost a lot of weight in that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bit trim as well. Major General Mr. Bertland. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Oh, this is Mr. One Mac, Mr. Angry Alan McNeish. This, this is his Hasegawi 172nd F15E Strike Eagle for the Graham Pearson Christmas Tribute Build. Uh, fiddly bit stuck together and primed. Uh, is that to order resin cans as there's a huge gap in the kit parts. Move along. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Norman D. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is Academy 148 CH 46 DC Knight. No, it's not a Chinook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tonight, I shall continue to add uh, scratch built detail to the CH 46 D. It's still not a Chinook. Mostly adding detail to the wind charm and other areas. It's fine. I should have made the switch uh, back to helicopter model a long time ago. Uh, but we have to try other genres to discover what we enjoy the most. And it still refuses to endorse any ultimate products in his pictures what's the different store between that and the chinook I, mean, <laughs> I haven't a clue i mean i don't do aircraft i it's, think it's the same aircraft he's just having a wind up no this is actually smaller it's more ship bone than a chinook right it's got one less window is where he's saying there's about a foot missing in the middle no <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, move on <clears throat> <laughs> 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 oh dear! This is Mr. This is Mr. Brian. Uh, is it Ooh, Brian? I, I, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say when I first glanced. Oh at my God! It, yeah, yeah. I was like, "What the hell is that?" Yeah. And I didn't realize that it was tissue paper. Oh! When I first glanced, at it, I nearly spat my tea out. <laughs> <laughs> Thought to myself, "What the?" 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm guessing this is Mr. Brian uh, I for Mr. Brian Inns off of Phase yeah. Eight. Yeah. Uh, and he's, this is his ongoing saga of his Ravel 124 53 Corvette Roadster. Right. Uh, and he will get it finished before the end of the year. But yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I love this. This is Mr. John M.W. Oh, uh, yes. It yeah. says he's almost done with his Airship 124 from McLaren F1 GTR. Uh, that he's doing for Paul's non box art scheme build. Oh, which ends. Is you. Okay. Uh, tab out decals, uh, to do the Gulf uh, Davidoff livery. Uh, he's added a set of uh, MFF MFH seat belts, top studio connectors and wiring, plus some scale motorsport carbon decals. Oh, uh, paints for the body is zero paints, Gulf colors, and ultimate black and uh, 2K diamond clear. Uh, just need to attach the doors and rear wing and. It should be done. Oh, that's a nice kit, man. That's a nice kit. It's a belt bar, isn't it? Yeah, it's very iconic car. Like, I did buy one of these the other day, but as always, model hobbies, I'm a pants down and not delivered it. Well, I think yeah. I must have been the lucky one because yeah. mine are right. Yeah, such a crap. Well, I'm going to get into that. Come on, it looks fantastic, John. Look, I might get one one day if one gets delivered. The crack yeah. They are yeah. all the best looking I do, cars. I do like where he's got going on there. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Oh, I knew he had one then. So, yeah, nearly. 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 That, that makes a little twitch somewhere in the trouser area. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Mr. Paul next. And this is his Tamiya R34 Z2 Skyline. It's oh, rated yeah. with Splash yeah. Midnight Purple 3 and Pro Range 2K Clear. Uh, part one of the build will be up on the ISM channel soon. Look at that colour. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's a belting colour, that. Mm -hmm. Changes from purple to blue. I like the good idea about using the Tamiya tape also to stick the car to the to the um Yeah, stand. you don't have to do it to them all, just some of them don't quite Yeah. Get a hold. Then my lorry body's pinged off my stand more times. Yeah. Uh, nice colour. That's yeah. a very nice yeah. colour that. Oh, this is Nova Russ, Mr. James Skiffins, the <laughs> uh, uh <master laughs> <ball> builder. <laughs> Uh, it says this week, Matthew has continued working on the Graham Pearson Christmas commissary build. <laughs> <laughs> Cockpit completed and installed. Uh, the main airframe is coming along nicely with a bare metal finish. Uh, he had planned to post daily updates for Graham on the Facebook page, but personal matters have uh, prevented that this week. Please forgive me, G. Uh, he now, however, uh, has made a build thread on the forum. Is very brave. Yeah. Well, joking aside, that uh, that metal finish, especially on those wings, look, they're different tones on there. It looks like yes. I like the festive. I quite like the fest. I like the green yeah. kitchen oh, paper. Like oh, this for Graham. Crack on, James. You're doing well with that, mate. Doing well, yeah. mate. Power Wolf. We, um, we answered that question about an hour ago, bud. What's the best alternative to 2K clear? Yes. <clears throat> Oh, Mr. Black 73 Cat. Uh, this his first stage of his camo is done on the Hobby Boss King Tiger. Uh, still needs a bit of tweaking to break up a couple of areas. Base colour is Tamiya XF60 mixed with XF59 because he ran out of 60. <laughs> uh, the green camo is Mr. Hobby Aqueous RLM63. Very nice. I like that. Enjoying the kick room? Dig at me. Enjoying it. Yeah, it's a lovely kit. Really is nice. Hang on, G. What scale is it? Oh, oh, it's got to be seventy seconds. Yeah, I was thinking. I was going to say it. It looks about one one seventy six scale. That mm -hmm. yeah, one fifty three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I'm afraid for the forum. Very cool. Sadly. But we'll slide straight into face ache, and I just want to bring this point up. Last time. When I posted this at the beginning of the week, it said conversation starter, and now it says Ooh. visual storyteller. Ooh. That's, that's, all, that's all the photos in your post. Is that where it is? Yeah. yeah. I like that, though. Visual storyteller. I know. That's that's quite funny. When I seen it earlier, I'm thinking, what? It's better than I call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, next Friday's show, Dan will be telling us all a little story from Christmas. Oh, yes. And it'll involve some Fs and Bs and yes. D. While it's just this week, we're going to move into Mr. Dan Cook, who were. Uh, he says, last time, this is Bandai 172nd TIE Fighter from 
back. It's completed the base with UMP white primer with a few drops of grey, followed by a UMP dark dirt wash. Uh, it did not gloss as he wanted it dirtier than a bin man's gloves. Uh, then brush, <laughs> rust the metal slag pigments over it. Happy Christmas, guys. Update look at the other picture in the reply. Oh, yeah. I always took a better picture there. Look, that's better. That's nicer. I do like his base. Yeah, but it on the side, it looked like a World War One aircraft, wouldn't it? It looks a bit like a bike. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Right, didn't it? Yeah. Certainly yeah. yeah. yeah, got um, a thing of fucker about it. Mm. Yeah. Do some rigging in between the points. And I'm going to say that's all it's missing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That would be a cool one. Yeah. Yeah. Lo lozenge on the solar panels. Oh, a bit lo love a little bit of lozenge. Yeah. That would look awesome, wouldn't it? Would have been. Well, oh, that would be. That'd be class. Baron von Richvader. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to move on to Mr. Dave Watts. Uh, he's scratch building a 172nd flak tower. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's that? <laughs> he's made it with foam board being built as the fall of Berlin. Oh. Wow. Huge. Oh. Very cool. That's massive. Where, where's that going then, Dave? Is that, is um, that bags of flour on the top of it there to wait? I'm guessing that's to get a good connection. Goodness me. Wow, dude. Yeah, that's 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 scratch building on an extreme level there, isn't it? Mm. Hey, okay, we need some packs of uh, form car for that, wouldn't you? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> that's a, that is mighty impressive. I've never seen a flat tower built, and I especially never seen it done in a a full fat flat tower in one I think he's I think he's gonna to need to go to B and Q for his paint. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna swallow up some paint that bad boy, isn't it? He'd need a few two forty to two seventy mil bottles of white primer. <laughs> <laughs> what should they be at though? How much uh, Mr. David Everton is next. Uh, he says, as he's now in his Christmas break, is finishing off projects. So this week, uh, his Italia 148 Hurricane Mark 1 was finished. Humble paint and Citadel washers. Uh, based on a spare uh, with a bit of grass added. Uh, and his Revel 172 B17 has a bit more to do, but nearly finished. Again, Humble paint. Citadel wash, null oil, charcoal pencil for engine effect. And finally... The Revell F14 Super Tomcat for Paul's Christmas bill. A busy first, first week's holiday. I looked at that and thought it was 148. Uh, cheating there. Cheating. Yeah, he's, he's been sly with how he's posted that. It's one build only, peeps. We're going to start being strict. We've got to start going through these posts looking. I just haven't had time this week. It's just been a mental week. Uh, Mr. Rennie Stoffrigen. Uh, and he's finished the Italiera JU-52 in 172nd scale. And he's painted his Ravel Peterbilt Highway Dragon in 125th scale. And he can finally going to finish the Peterbilt. Can't even the windows on aircraft. Got a hell of a job there. I want to do a JU-52. I think they're lovely. Nah, it looks like a corrugated tin shed with a propeller. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. That is exactly what they look like. <laughs> I like this one though. This is Mr. John Stone. Uh, he says, Greeting slaves to the plastic and sprue smugglers. Uh, <laughs> this week we saw the completion of the Hobby Boss 148 Thunderbolt 2, uh, primed in both UMP black and grey, uh, and finished in Mr. Hobby Greens. He's not a plain person, but he hopes we like it and model on, yeah. or it's the lash. Cracking. Like that. And again, he's rattled through that, and all, hasn't he? Yeah, he's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do quite like it that he's got his uh, bits open. It were. <laughs> Lovely work. Very nice, John. Um, I like John. That. Just jump in quickly. David Watts has just said the uh, there are bags of flowers sitting on top of that flak tower. And he said when he's finished, he's donating it to Models for Heroes to be auctioned off. Oh, oh good call. Yeah. That would make a good feature in like a, 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 you know, a mess hall or something like that, wouldn't it? Yep. Nice one. Cool. Nice work, mate. Now, I'm not sure how this one's going to work, but I'm going to press play because it might work. But this is Mr. Rich Gentleman Eagles, and this is 124th scale Airfix Merlin from the Hurricane and is awaiting a timing board. Mm. Or if you look, you can, 
you can just see his lights flashing. Who were? Yeah. yeah, we could have been a bit closer, I hoped, <laughs> in a nice way. Yeah, there's something flashing near the bottom. <laughs> to be of exhaust flames at the exhaust port. No, no. no they press your cast, you dafty, instead of your expand. Oh. I'll press wrong thing. I know. I don't think they'd appreciate it downstairs neither. <laughs> no, they might do. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's have a a repress of that. Was that my Apparently, you can see his uh, oh, yeah, yeah. flashing. Yeah, yeah, just make the spark yeah. plugs. Cool. Oh, wicked. That is really, really cool. A good idea. I don't know if it works for this particular format, but a really yeah, good idea. Stick, stick to 40s. Uh, and this is the other bit. It says, uh, painted, ready to crack on with the rest of the build. Which nice. looks pretty good. It's got some very, very fine wire in there as well. Mm. Braver than me. I couldn't do that. No, I'd, I'd have smashed it up in there. This is Mr. David Sargent next, and this is his 148 Kitty Hawk F35B. It's a horrible kit, rubbish paint references. Mm -hmm. uh, it will look good, but 10 times the effort of a normal kit, and that's because it says Kitty Hawk. You have my admiration, mate. <laughs> Do you know what, though? He's making a good job of it. Yeah, yeah. He's making a belting job on it. Yeah. yeah. Looks well. I've already snapped it in half and crammed it in Bimbi now. <laughs> Are you frozen? No. Yeah. Facebook won't scroll. This is Mr. Ivan Jensen Taylor. Uh, he says, well, not this week, but fairly recently. He's got paint down on the 135th Takum M3 Lee. Uh, no, I got some paint on it. No, he means now he's got some paint on it. He's happy with how it looks. Uh, apart from the gap in the front, uh, plate of armor. Uh, primed and painted with the UMP Apex Airbrush and UMP Bike Primer then painted with Mr. Hobby Aqueous Olive Drab, then lightened with white. Each rivet head was painted with a slightly lighter version of the lightest highlight. Uh, decals to do, only seven. Then detail paint all the tools, tracks, and such. Then seal and weather. Lovely little kit, to be fair. Thanks, guys, and happy Yuletide to all. Happy days. Very nice. Looking good, Ivan. Yeah. Looking real good. Mr. Sam Wakefield next. Uh, he's finally finished his first ever model. A steep learning curve, but a lot of fun. Thanks for the help so far. It's a 172nd Airfix Harrier GR9A. It's straight out of the box and weathered with Vallejo Dark Grey. Uh, and on to the next one. That was my first model as well. Ooh, nice. A, yeah, that's cracking. That's the one I squashed. You remember when I squashed it to <laughs> the massive step across the top of the wings? Blimey. I like that very nice cool. mr tony chooses shoes off next he says good evening dan and the ism crew this is his aoshima 124 scale rocket bunny toyota 86 it's primed with ump white primer the color is splash java green and gloss with upol 2k all airbrushed with his apex and he hopes we all have a great christmas that's nice tony I like the wheel colour, that's really nice. That is really cool, mate. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Well done, See you, Steve. This is Mr. Sean Bradder next. Uh, he says, on the bench this week, and uh, most likely for a few more weeks more, <laughs> is a Hornet Thopter from Ooh. Industry Mechanica. Uh, it's his first ever resin kit uh, with lots of brass PE. Uh, your MP Primer Zero paints black with multi layers of AK Extreme Copper and brass with to me acrylics picking out the details. Is very happy with the challenge so far and happy modeling, folks. Ho, ho, ho. They do look lovely. What, uh, what's his name? Is it Norm, Norman? Oh, King. oh, yes. Norman uh, King, wasn't it? Norman oh, King. Yeah. Norman King, yes. He does great jobs on those ones. Yeah, lovely really looking things. Up. But I've got to say, them eyes is he's got them eyes looking brilliant. Yeah. Mm. And if you're friends with Sean on Facebook, you'd have seen him with his uh, multi optimizer thing on the other day, looking very strange. <laughs> and I suspect he were wearing that doing them. 
Ooh, vampire. This is Mr. Paul Mann next. And he's been mainly been working on the Christmas build. It's an um, Airfix 172nd Vampire J28C of Swedish historic flight. Pardon me. Reference pics show a pretty worn out paint scheme. So this metallic aluminium will be the chipping layer and your MP primer and Vallejo model air aluminium. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Nice. Like a little vampire. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, this is Mr. Andrew Haycock next. Uh, it says he hopes we don't mind, Dan. It's not one of his, but his other half second completed model. It's a sovereign 2001 ninth scale resin bust uh, of the Reaper. Uh, Donna used GMP gray primer. The base coat was Vallejo Air Anthracite gray. Uh, light dry brush with medium sea gray and light gray. The Skulls Army Painter Skeleton Bone and Strong Tone by Army Painter. Highlighted with a mixture of Skeleton Bone and White. The side was Wood Brown, uh, Lead Beecher. Wow, I nearly missed mm -hmm. that. Uh, washed with Null Oil and PS. Hope everybody has a good weekend and Merry Christmas, everybody. Andrew. That's cracking. That's beautiful. I've yeah. got to say, yeah. I've got to say, Andrew, your missus can paint me. Mm. Definitely. That's really cool. I do like that skull. It looks really good. Yeah, it really does. It looks like Skeletor. Crack it. Mm -hmm. I'm going another name to butcher. Go for it, dude. You, have, you can do it. You can do it. This is Radake Rasban. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Close enough. Uh, he says he hopes to finish this. Finish it this weekend. Is used to me a Prime Zero paints white, racing blue and green, similar to, to me a Park Green. And for the clear coat, is used Zero paints one K clear. Right, people, you got to start putting down what it is. I was just about to say, I've Evolution Seven by the look of it, mm -hmm. I think, or six, and it's one picture. Seriously, one picture. Not fair putting two in. Nobody else can. Weekend. If you're going to put multiples in, use a collage. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to start getting strict, and I'll just end up deleting your post full stop. We need to know what it is. It's useless. Yeah. If it, yeah, I painted this with that, and it looks cool. Yeah, people have voted on it, so they need to know what it is. We're not mind readers. Um, and I don't want to be an ass about it, but I will be. I'll, I do like this one. What Chunk's doing? Yeah, I didn't see him doing that. Oh, that's good. Cool. Uh, this is Mr. Clinton Eels next. Or chunk to his good mates. Well, or the other C word to his really good mates. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says, good evening and Merry Christmas to all. This week he's been working on the 135th Tamir US two and a half ton cargo truck. Uh, still a little bit to go, but he hopes to be finished over the weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. That looks well. Mm, very good. Lovely. Chunk, if you're watching, check your messages. Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. George Antonio Eel. Antonio Eel. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is a M41 Walker Bulldog in 135th scale from Tamir. Uh, just a little bit before painting. Uh, quick, easy, perfect for a break between other bulls. And also was a bargain. Only 10 euro. Very nice. To deny that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. For 10 brick, everything's cheap. Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. Charles Stanhope next. Uh, and he started on the 148 Airfix Gloucester Meteor. Uh, but he's now starting to get totally fed up and frustrated. A uh, mix of 50 50 to me, a flat black with UMP airbrush thinner. And paint continually as spit patterns and comes out uneven. Uh, matte in some parts and glass in other parts. Uh, strip clean the apex airbrush and still no resolution. Also tried different pressures, still the same result. Airbrushing is now becoming such hard work. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where to go. Check for damage on the airbrush. You need to your nozzle. I'd, I'd say it is um, fine. You're echoing, I think, mate. And make sure it's clean. I'd say you still need to thin it more as well. 
Yeah, I think yeah. it's thinner more, Charles. Yeah. The smear paint can get thinned down a lot. Yeah. Before it starts to get too too watery. So um try thinning it. That's why I'd I first thing I'll do I know mean, the airbrush is clean and everything, I'll put a bit more thinner in thinner in and get it until it's spraying. Uh like without the splattering. And then see how it sprays in some plastic. It's too thin. Add a little bit more paint back in until it, until it can. Uh, you can apply some actual colour down. Yeah, I say it's too thick. Yeah, the chaffer damage as well. Yeah, yeah. Your paint as well because it tends to get gritty at the bottom yes. sometimes. Mm -hmm. and you can stir it up when you add a, a bit of thinner, and you, and you stir it up, and it gets blocked in your airbrush. So I think there can be a lot of variables. Mm. Yeah, that, that's that could be a minefield. That oh, I really like this one as well. This is Mr. Gaff Painter. Yeah. Mm. Uh, he's continuing with the Trumpy 135th Russian BMPT Terminator. Uh, the upper and lower hull together. Also, tracks fitted. Uh, he's fitted and painted the tracks, wheels, and lower hull before he attaches the side skirts. Then we'll mask the bottom as he paints the top. Uh, the wheels have been primed in the MP grey, then pre shaded with black, then painted with Mr. Hobby Aqueous, uh, yellow and men rubber black, then an oil wash of uh, 502 wash brown and smoke mixed with a 502 odorless thinner. Uh, the tracks are painted in Mr. Hobby Aqueous uh, metal, mm -hmm. metal black and men rubber black. Uh, again, then given an AK enamel track wash. Uh, some of the turret also completed. Thank you all. Lovely. Nice work. I do like that. You know where he's got bottom half painted and top half not? I quite like that. <laughs> just, it is. You know, just showing some of the effort that he's actually put in with PE and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Uh, this is Mr. Matthouse Rex next. Who lives in London, <laughs> apparently. Oh, nice. Uh, he's finished his Bandai 172nd Y-Wing. Uh, UMP Black Primer and uh, Mission Models Red Oxide on top. The many products including uh, MIG pigments and uh, well, no, Vallejo washes have a, a great fun build. Right. Looks really cool. I love what he's done with that. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Matt. Great work. Yeah, mm -hmm. looks really good, that one. This is Mr. Dan Edmonds. Uh, this is 124th Itali Italieri of our truck. He's nearly finished the chassis this week. Uh, just a couple more pieces and the wheels to go on tonight. And then he can get started on the cab. He's made me use UMP primer and Vallejo metal colours so far. Have a great show and a wonderful weekend all. I am so glad that he stuck with that. Yeah, yeah I am as well. Because that looks freaking amazing. Yeah. 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 It's going very cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stunning. That fuel yeah. tank is bang on. Yeah. Oh, mate. Awesome. I like the yellow wheel chocks at the back and everything. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna make my piece of shit look shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is now, Mister Radom Effenberger has uh, forgot to add his picture to his thing, so I'll read it out first, and then I'll show you a picture. It says, uh, "Long time no see, lads." So he presents you with his entry for the Christmas build. It's a once every second Hobby Boss F twenty two Raptor. Uh, he's got mixed feelings about the kit. Fit is horrible and he's had to fill a lot of gaps, but the detail for the price is great. Uh, now he tries marble technique for the first time and it looks promising so far. As always, have a nice live. Cute picture. There we go. Oh, that's nice. That's some nice bullshit. Appreciate it. Timing that. Last, uh, last we heard from Radim, he was, um, he was on his way to getting a new girlfriend, I think. Ah, oh, date that. night, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's why he hasn't been around. Ah. I nearly said some untoward then that cost me that. <laughs> Busy. Oh, I was close. I like it though, it looks good. Uh, this is Mr. Ryan Cancino next. Ooh. Oh, wow. Uh, this week, work continues on his garage dio. Uh, he's added a uh, painted skateboard grip tape to the roof. He's cutting small tile sections to add detail. Uh, he's also added some signage and doors. Lots more to come. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay inspired. Party supplies, love it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really cool, man. It could have been worse. It could have said adult shop. Yeah. 
<laughs> I sell that stuff in there. It, well, you never know. So you need to sell it. you going for? Ooh. I really like this one as well. This is Mr. Adam Challenger of uh, Challenger Scale Modeling fame. Uh, uh, it says a very little progress this week. Mojo fading away on the run up to Christmas and holiday. Uh, but he got some Mipa 2K clear coat on his Fujimi Porsche, just the seat to finish, then final assembly. Very nice, Adam. That's lovely, Adam. I do like that. <laughs> I just seen Darren's comment in the chat. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> and the very last one of the evening is Mr. Ooh. Andrew Thomas. Nice. Uh, and this week has practically seen the end of the BMAX Audi build. Uh, this has been a great build to do. It's primed with MIG white and painted with various Tamiyas. Uh, and it, do, it does intend to lightly weather this, probably with washers at a later date. It's used most of the detail upset with just a few bits left to add. Wing mirrors, aerial, etc. Uh, which you shall do during the show tonight. Uh, photo of actual car is added to the show. Uh, why some spots? Covers are at an angle. Bring on the next build. Model on, guys. Very nice. Good. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gone. I quite like that photo as well. What uh, <laughs> leap up earlier? Just what? What's wrong with that picture? <laughs> yeah. What's he got to do with modelling? Well, exactly. You can't well, that's pay, folks, yeah. for tonight. Right then. So, you guys and girls in the chat, if you're making notes, um, you've now got five minutes to pick a single winner. Um, and the build with the most votes, which Tim's going to tally, Tim, yeah? Tim doesn't appear to be there. Timbo. Speak to us, Tim. Oh, Tim's going to have a lot of catching to do when he comes back then. Tim. Um, Tim will tally them up, and the build with the highest amount of votes will get a UMP goodie bag. We'll just give Tim a minute to reappear. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Ah, he's here. So Tim will tally up the votes, and the build with the most votes will win the UMP goodie bag. Um, and that's it. One vote only. Make sure you try and put the name and the kit if you know what the kit is. Hence why we need you to put in your pictures what your kit is. Um, not yet, John. You jumping the gun there, buddy? All right. Still. Um, and there we go. Step up five DVD. What well, a surprise. Okay. Fair <laughs> um, right. When you're ready, boys. Nope. All right. Ready, no. when you're ready. Three, two, one. Start. Two. We've got Mr. Smoke Rider Don with his C17 in 1144th scale. We have uh, Physio's Eurofighter. In a secret scale, and is also got a mosquito of some description in a, another secret scale. Uh, we've got Maverick 231 with his uh, 72nd MiG 144 flat pack. We have flat, uh, no, we haven't. We've got F27 packs with his 1144 Fokker 50. Uh, Mr. Warped Crisis with his uh, Porsche, Chevy, and Parlor, and his Ferrari Enzo. Uh, Timbo, put me down for Tomcat 64. And me, too. Tim. Me, too, uh, Tim, please. This is Tomcat 64's uh, World War One GB entry of a yeah. 135th scale 40 Vickers gun carrier. Put me down for and, that, Tim. Okay. And, and peeps. We have Mr. One Mac with his F-15E Strike Eagle for the Christmas build in 172nd scale. Mr. Norman D and his uh, CH-46D Sea Knight. It's not a Chinook. <laughs> baby Chinook. It's a baby Chinook, that's right. We've got Mr. Brian I with his 53 Corvette Roadster that looks suspicious. I reckon he's been roller skating. It's my life. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Mr. John MW with his Aoshima 124 McLaren F1 GTR motor. Something cool like playing tennis in tight white shorts. <laughs> We've got Paul's R34 Z2 Skyline. Oh, I changed my mind to that one, Tim. <laughs> and we have Mr. Novarus with his uh, uh, commissary Christmas build of a bare metal finish on a 
Hang on, it doesn't actually say what plane it is, this one. Matt, uh, is it Forge Matt? Majesty. Yeah, Majesty. I thought it was. Yes, that one. Yeah. Uh, we have Mr. Black 73 Cat with his Hobby Boss King Tiger. Quickly jumping straight back into face eight with Mr. Dan Cook and his 172nd Bandai TIE Fighter. Uh, Mr. Dave Watts with his scratch built 172nd Flak Tower Monster. Uh, Mr. David Everton with his uh, Hurricane Mark 1 in 48 scale and his other ones, but we'll gloss over them ones. Mr. Brennan Stoffordgen with his J52 and his Peter Belt. Mr. John Stone and his Thunderbolt 2 by Hobby Boss in 148 scale. Uh, Mr. Rich Gentleman Eagles with his 124 scale Airfix Merlin from the Hurricane. Uh, Mr. David Sargent with his 48 scale Kitty Hawk F35B. Mr. Ivan Jensen Taylor with his uh, 135th scale M3 Lee. Uh, Mr. Sam Wakefield with his Harrier GR9A. Mr. Tony chooses his shoes off with his Toyota 86. Tony, put me down for that. Which one, sorry? Tony. Tony's what? Tony's car, put me down for it, will you? Tony's Toyota. Tony's Toyota. So to eight six, to, um, Mr. Sean Bradder with his uh, Hornet Thopter. Uh, Mr. Paul Mann with his uh, Vampire J28C. <laughs> Mr. Andrew Haycock's other half and the one ninth uh, scale uh, resin bust of the Reaper. Um, Mr. Radek Razvan and his Evo Six. Evo 6. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Mr. Clinton Eels uh, with his uh, Tamir two and a half ton cargo truck, the 135th scale. Mr. George Antonio Yo -Yo, Yo -Yo, uh, with his M41 Walker Bulldog in 35th scale. Uh, Mr. Charles Stanhope with his Gloucester Meteor. Uh, Mr. Gav Painter with his uh, Russian Terminator. I'll be back. Mr. Matt House Rex with his Bandai 172nd Y Wing. Mr. Dan Edmonds with his uh, 124th scale Abarth truck. Uh, Mr. Radom Effenberger with his Hobby Boss uh, F22 Raptor. Mr. Brian Cancino with his Garage Dio. Mr. Adam Challenger with his Porsche. And Mr. Andrew Thomas with his B Max Audi. Wow, I've made it to the end. Well done, Dan. Well done. Nice one, awesome. Dan. There's some belters on there again. Oh, three week. seconds left. Two, one. There we go. Right, let's double check. There's nothing else squeaked in before that. No, there we go. Okie dokie. Well, we have got... Pick it a pokey. We, okay, so this, 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 we, we've got quite a weird way out. So we've got in third place, which is joined by four people. Wow. <laughs> with one vote, the Flak Tower, Andrew Thomas's Audi, Adam's Porsche, and uh, Dan's TIE Fighter. Second place, we've got another four. <laughs> the, A10, the Reaper, Dan Edmonds' truck, and Tony's GT86. Uh, but in first place is Tom Cat's gun carrier. Nice. Awesome sauce. Well done, well done, mate. Guys. Well done, mate. <laughs> Lovely work. Congrats. Yeah, yeah that worked. That well done. Well I've done. got to say though, that just it was just it was just the little words that he put with it as well. That were just hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I've got your name and address, but he would send it me again if he can. And I'll get you one of those on the post. Well done, mate. Is that well, really yeah. cool. Major General Bertland. Yeah. And he's and he's definitely and he's in the running, so I think for um for getting a good uh, position in the uh, World, War, World War One build as well. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So nice. Definitely. Awesome build, that one. You I know, know what, what I like is, that there's even though it's, it's a diorama, it's all about the vehicle and the figures. There's yes. a little around it. It's more like a vignette. It's it's lovely. And he's done such good work on those figures as well. Belt in there, really good. For me, it all looks good from when he first started it a couple of three weeks ago when it was just a bare resin bones and it just looked gnarly and whatnot. He's done ever mm. so well with it. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, yeah, nice. yeah, well done. Well done to everyone that shared. Well yeah. done to uh, Dawn. Thanks, guys. Buddy. 
Well done getting through that, Dan. Top work. Well done, yes. And uh, Bill, send me a link to that Ashima kit. Let's have a look. I don't know that one, mate. I've got a feeling I'm going to buy one myself. <laughs> So, uh, Matt's going to join us, as is Clinton. Oh. 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 The regular gang are watching I put it in our chat, but sadly, yeah. Steve responded, but he's already in bed. Nursing his toe. Yeah. Um, any of our regular gang are knocking about and want to join? Let me know. Can I join? Ciao. <laughs> Uh, Good night, Chunk. Hello, how are you? Hey, see, look, now Chunk's gone the whole hog with the Christmas decks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how you doing? Good oh. day, you big guy. Hello, Matt. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. <laughs> Hello, Matt in London. I bet you don't have your usual now, do you, Matt? <laughs> um, right, Bill. As far yes. as tell, Bill, who says yes? <laughs> <laughs> Bill in the chat. I don't the only thing you see different on that is oh, like my word. The spoiler you get yeah, I think you have to get the Oshima kit, but the Oshima kit should be good. I'm out of color myself. Turns out turns out all the kit is yeah, it's got a different. It looks like it's got the Z tune from bumper on it. A different font. And it's got a spoiler that comes with the V spec one with the, 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 like the cut out struts rather than a solid. Oh, okay. mm. Hello, Simon. Yeah, that's all I can. Yeah, this might be better built. Um, I'm going to have a look for one of those myself. God, I'd look at that. <laughs> oh, Tony would have been the name. <coughs> Sorry, mate. Is it warm? So I need to warm up. Uh, it's 28, 28 today. I think it's meant to be. So, oh, that's not too bad. Could be worse. No. It's been raining since rain since Thursday. We went from thirty six to sixteen the next wow. day. That's That's a, 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 That's a, shocking there. I don't know how you're covering. Yeah. I was yeah. say, I'm very still in shorts though. Yeah, they put his coat on. Uh, I only have shorts and I don't have any pants. <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. and there we go. It's for part one. What are you working on, Clinton? Uh, just still working on the, the little cargo truck. Uh, just in the half. Trying to do. Half. Got about four or five. I'm trying to finish. <laughs> Just 
put them back in the box, lad. We still got a uh, giveaway to do as well, Paul. Yeah, we have, mate. Yeah. Oh, that was the thing. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. Right, yeah, cool. Yeah, I actually did forget. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we do it early on, don't I? Yeah. I was sitting there thinking, oh, I can't remember it. We'll do that in a minute. We've still got 124 watching. So oh, we'll okay. do the UMP uh, giveaway in a sec. Graham, do you fancy fumbling through the rules? <laughs> Um, yeah, I can do. <laughs> Go on, mate, you uh, I should write it down, really, shouldn't I? You should not. Take a deep breath and just think about it. Logically <laughs> and in order. <laughs> this is me you're talking to. I know. Mm. I'm going to have even much, have more fun. Should I let Tim do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Tim. Tim, go on, mate. Right, we're going to do a draw. Go on, dodge that one. <laughs> uh, we're going to draw... With a pencil. No, I'm just joking. Um, so, what you need to do when oh, yeah. Graham puts in the chat start numbers now, you need to enter one number and only one number between one and 1,000. At the end, we'll draw a, we'll pick a number. Well, no, we won't pick a number. We'll use a random number generator to generate a number that will win the goodie bag. <laughs> yeah, pretty much most of it. Um, yeah, we're giving away a UMP goodie bag. So, right. away. Sanders, pick up pencils, some stickers, some tweets, if you're not in Oz or America. Um, and it comes in a box, not a bag. Actually, I think it does come in a bag now. Um, and that's it. So, there you go. Well, Tim, over to you. So, Graham Norman, are you ready? Graham yeah. Norman, always ready. Um, oh, Graham, we're not too sure about. I am ready or is ready. Are you sure you're ready? I don't want to put too much pressure on you here. <laughs> right in the back. Come in, then. <laughs> Go on then, girls. Go for it, guys. Go for it. In three, two, one. Start. Numbers. I'd just like to give Timmy a round of applause. Yay. Well done, Tim. Yay. I'm not even going to give you. <laughs> 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 well <done>. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't do that, Grim. That's um, thingy off a deadliest catch. Uh, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> don't, no, no. Just don't do it. You're a 45 year old dad. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. 45? <laughs> I know. He's, he's on our bus. That paper armor, a nightmare. Don't make me spoon fed with a baseball bat. <laughs> Yeah. They're collecting all these goodie bags. There's only about four million of them. <laughs> They're all numbered. One. <laughs> it's one thousand. Personally packed and signed for by my partner Hannah. He does a sterling job for us. Doesn't he? Like you Wonderful use. job. And you got a handwritten note. And you might even get a Christmas sticker. I don't know if she's been doing the Christmas stickers. Did say she was going to. I can't remember what she has. You get dog hair in there? No. Oh. What, what are you insinuating? You send things again. Wondering, wondering if this is going to be what, 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 what are you insinuating about Hannah? <laughs> well, not about let me, Hannah. Let me just text Hannah and get to rewatch the last five minutes. I was in a good story yesterday. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> um, no dog hairs. Here. Yeah. Make it the odd sticky plaster, but no dog. Uh, that's you, that I keep sending me sticky plasters. <laughs> <laughs> he needs them. Oh, Lorraine's in the show. Hello, Lorraine. Hey, Lorraine. Hello. Yeah, hello, hello to you. You talk to us. Hello. You know, Lorraine. I think we found a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> hey? Why? That's not what I was looking for, but I found one. The fun you have. I know. My life is just a non-stop. Mm. Fun, fun can, can I quickly say something on here while while people are on here? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you're not part of ISM on the Facebook page and you'd like to be, when you request to become a part member of the page, there's a, a couple of questions. It's not hard. It's not hard. They're quite easy. 
just read them and answer because it's the only way we really actually let people on anymore. If not, you're going to sit in limbo for about a week and then be refused. They are, they, yeah, the questions are there to answer. They're dead even. Yeah. that or feedback or something. That's damn that. Because unless we can literally physically see there are model, model and modeling on your own personal page, we've got most people don't usually have it linked in their own personal Facebook. A lot, a lot of people don't. Um, so unless you've got it literally blatantly that you do modeling, you're not going to get accepted. So please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Thank God I joined when I did. The yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it was not a yeah. And if you're, adding, if you're adding your friends as well, tell them that you've added them and tell them that they're going to have to answer the questions because they will get a notification. Yeah, we got a lot of people joining every week now. We're massively busy. Yeah. So it's someone here. He's actually got pictures on his on his own timeline. I think that's from it looks Japanese, and I think that is Japanese text. And on his page, he's got lots of models he's been building. So I'm going to go, yes. One minute. One minute, folks. It's a final countdown. Right, that has got nothing to do with modeling. He can go away. Yeah, not only do we get spammers joining, we get women who think it's an actual modeling. And men. Yeah. And men as well, yeah. 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 You can usually yeah, tell just from the it will plastic. You can usually tell from the profile picture if it's a if it's a lad, you can usually tell if he's a model or a modeler. Because he's depending <laughs> on how he stood. They tend to have sunglasses on standing at a jaunty angle with a pout. <laughs> uh James C G, can you pick one number, bud? Oh, one number only. Uh, one number only. It's a disc wall. I'm sorry. Whack, whack. Wah, 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 wah. Very good. You have to use your hand over your mouth to do that. Three, two, one. Ding, ling. Man, ding, ling. Go on, Tim, get your random number generator. Load it up. I'll, I'll find a random number. Uh, which ones are you usually like using? Uh, John, that will be uh, Sam's a flashing. Clinton's got his up and mine are on, but you can't see them. It's all right, JMCG, don't worry. Mistakes happen, bud. Just let those numbers don't come up now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, I'm going to put, put you on Tim so you can see Tim. Don't forget the rules when you do the numbers on. This is Graham's stumbling block normally. Yeah. Okay. I must, I must rehearse. you got a little bit of spiel to do now before you pick the number. Oh, fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I am going to use the actual Google random number generator here. Uh, I've put in one to 1,000. It's already shown me eight. That's what it's showing me before yeah. I've even clicked anything. It always does. Yeah. Um, the number is going to be picked, and us lot here will decide who has got the number closest. Please do not mention in the chat who you think it may be, as most of the times you're wrong. <laughs> okay. and, and and we're always right. <laughs> no, and one more bit. Uh, uh, do people have the same number? Oh, well, yes, if two people have the same number, we're going to pick no. If two people have the same number, the first person that picked the closest number will win. Um, if there is a near dead heat on the numbers. We will find a way of deciding. We usually tell people to pick different numbers, but it rarely ever happens. But we won't have to worry about that part. There we go. Well done. Yeah, yeah. Quite easy done. So Jesus, uh, I thought I was watching the national lottery there for a minute. Was so <laughs> <laughs> you could easily think it was, couldn't you? I, I could dress up like Dale Winton. I could get some shiny teeth. Oh, oh. Hope you couldn't. He's dead. <laughs> oh, you've been shocked, Tim. <laughs> All right. Wait, well, well, anyway, 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 go on. Anyway, I'm going to hit generate. Let's see what number comes up. Wow. Okay. Oh, that didn't go too far, did it? That's a low one. Yeah, 24. Very low. Ooh. The winning number is 24. How low can you go? Hey, base. <laughs> there we go, 24. Can you guys have a look once to know the winner? Graham will announce it. Actually, no, Tim can. 
Oh, announce it. Yeah, we'll get Tim a go tonight, eh, Graham? Yeah. <laughs> Graham's busy. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just uh, shining up my tracks. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what? what? No, it's all right. <sighs> yes, I agree with that. That's funny. That's the best feedback ever. So, are we all agreed on that one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so from the random number generator, generated was 24. From the numbers that were selected within the track, the closest number to that one was, which I'll get right, was 56, and that was picked by Kevin Baker. Oh, well, that, that was Kevin Baker. that's a new name, isn't it, I think? I've not noticed that name, not heard that name before. Well done, Kevin. Yeah, what's, what's he got to do, Tim? <sighs> I need him to dance on the spot. For at least 10 yeah. seconds uh -huh. uh, can you please contact paul either on the forum or on facebook it's paul bretland or Yay. Well done, you give me a name and address and he will post a small bag with some amazing goodies in it yeah a box maybe a bag he's not too sure be yeah. <laughs> so well done kevin well done mate yeah well done kevin well, well done, congratulations Tim. Well done. Yeah, well done, Tim. Dan's turn next week to do that. No. All right, boys, I'm going to shoot off. All right, see you later, Sam. Later, Sam. See you later, Sam. See you later, you little bro. No, Graham can do it next week since it's Christmas. <laughs> that is Christmas. <laughs> it's our Christmas show next week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All the special things that Graham's got to do. Yeah. What? Graham's got to do all the special things. Oh. Because he's a special person at a special time of year. What special things? I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. Exactly. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, Dan's uh, even an bit late to the party. Had to build a bed. Ooh. 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 Build a bed. Mm -hmm. There's so many jokes I want to say, but I'm not. Oh, you, big, Dan, <laughs> you big grown up, you. I don't know. I know I'm being very, very, very cheap. Is it, it's cold outside at the moment because it's feeling cold in here. One and a half degrees here. I don't know. My eating's on full whack, Tim, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> we turned us off at eight a while ago and I'm just like... I'm not like tight though, Tim. Might have be on all night. I'm about to up. Might have be on all night, literally. Throw some coal on that bad boy and let it burn. <laughs> uh, you know, if, if the house actually kept heat with inside it, it would actually help. This house is so. Yeah, uh, one degree minus four wind chill. I got. Yeah. Well, not wind chill, but feels like. Mm. I'm gonna say it's Baltic, but I haven't been out and checked, and I'm not. I've got no intentions of. Like I can say, walking out of here is always a shock because it's like 24 degrees near now. It's lovely and warm. I instantly drop like 23 degrees and a half. <laughs> oh my god! It's like stepping into a freezer. Do you have oh, two little pokey out of it? <laughs> the other one shrivels up. <laughs> well, I'm actually sitting with my window open at the moment, so. Yeah, but you're a Geordie, though, Norm. Yeah, no, it's too bloody hot. Well, my window is open. It has to be as a suffocate, mate. I'm surprised how cold London is. I thought it'd be warmer than this. I know. All that way down south, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. Yeah, there's a frost on ground, so I'm definitely not going out. Oh, almost barbecue. Nothing to do now. 
Andrew Callis is waving at his at the screen. Hello. Hello, Andrew. <laughs> I, either that or he's took some very strong narcotics at work or something. <laughs> Well, that person shouldn't disclose. Ever well, watch that, G? Uh, just slightly before my time. Uh, that that sounds like a fib. No, no, no. It's, um... I'm surprised you never watched Cheers. Yeah. No, I mean I've seen the odd episode, but never, never sat and watched it. Don't understand. Is it bad in there? Hey, is it good and bad in there? <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> one men. Yeah, it was great. Cheers. Yeah. I think it was. Was it, was it John Goodman or John Candy in it? Neither. Come on, mate. Huh? It was Ted Danson and Kirsty Alley. Oh uh, no, I'm sure John Goodman or John Candy was. Yeah, who played Norm then? Uh, yeah. That was George Went. Yeah. It. And uh, the fellow that played Chris. Uh, Cliff was Summit Rosenberg. John, no, John Rastenberg or Summit. Yeah, you're right. Ratzenberger, something like that. And you got Fraser spin off from that. Yeah. yeah. I really like watching Fraser. Yeah, Fraser's good. It's on in the mornings. I'm yeah. preferring a sideshow, Bob. Never ever seen Fraser. You never watch Fraser? You'd actually like that. Yeah, you'd like that. I think you yeah, would because it's quite intellectual. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Very pedantic. Yes, very. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 he is. There's no sense to Graham, you'd like it. Yeah. In a way, you kind of like Frasier. And the best character in Frasier is uh, is Dad's dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dad's dog. That yeah. wiry Jack Russell thing. Here. Yeah, sorry, can you generally... <laughs> um, what? Yeah. dog. The brother's wife. God. You never see her, but oh, you would never want to meet her, would you? What? The brother's wife. Um, the really. Oh, in Frasier. Yeah. Niles is Miles, yeah. Miles is wife. Yeah. Yeah. I've got no chance of remembering that. Maris. Mar yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Done. yeah. Well done, Clinton. Well done. <laughs> you can close Google out now. now. <laughs> what you yeah. need to look for is uh, Daphne in that wedding dress. Oh yes, she's she's quite hot, is Daphne? Mm, that's why I'm saying it. <laughs> I hope we all sing the Cheers theme tune next week to Graham for Christmas. He'd appreciate it. <laughs> that Rose well Roseanne at the same well, time. I didn't like, good. Didn't like Roseanne as much. Do you know the best one of the nineties for me was Tool Time with Tim Allen. Oh, it's yeah. all brilliant. Uh, yeah, oh, cool it was too funny. Was yeah. that my cough there? <laughs> um, <laughs> You know what? I remember it be liking as a kid was Wonder Years. Oh, yeah. Wonder Years, yeah. yeah. So there we go. I just uh, put was John Goodman in Cheers into Google, and apparently the Daily Telegraph reported that he was in Cheers and made the same mistake as me. But it was actually George Went. You were right, Dan. Well done. Mm. Hey. If there's anything I know a lot about, it's telly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he years, but he banged his shin. <laughs> I've watched hours and hours. Of, that was my favourite hobby when I was quite a larger fella. Through the nine, through the late nineties, yeah, I was glued to a settee. Well, yeah, look it up in a, on a, on Channel Four in the morning, Jay Fraser. Yeah, you you will like it. I don't think it's half eight to half nine. 
another funny one and all is uh oh what's it called now nah, some uh oh everybody loves raymond everybody loves raymond <laughs> yeah, right. I, was, I like uh king of queens yeah you know really what? i quite like that but i i just like it for belushi because i quite like him he's just, he's just a funny bloke i prefer raymond yeah but yeah the big dumb one out here everybody loves raymond he, yeah he's <laughs> hilarious <laughs> It's with the Roberts. Yeah. Robert. It sounds like Joe off a uh, Family Guy. Everybody loves Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woody Halson was in Cheers as well. Yeah. Don't be passing this off as if it's your knowledge. No, Dan's just said. I'm there, but you're passing it off. Like, oh, yeah, I remember. It wasn't. <laughs> everybody's, yeah. everybody's looking oh, at the yeah. chat. Yeah, it was about a bar, wasn't it? That's right. He were a dumb bar kid, weren't he? Yeah. It's always going to be there. White Man Can't Jump was a cracking film. Oh, that is a I randomly was thinking about that the other day. That was a good film. And um, apparently Woody Harrelson's dad killed a federal bitch. Okay. Wow. And what? Woody Harrelson's dad killed a federal judge. Really? Wow. Oh. What I will say about Woody Harrelson is he should not have been in Solo. I didn't even realise it was. Never watched that one. That's coming up on the Sky, I think, over the next. Uh... Oh no! Ready Player One's coming up as well. Watch yeah, that. Ready Player One. I think. Yeah, I'll watch anyone two. watching is age between hmm, thirty-eight and forty-eight. You need to watch Ready Player One. Yeah, I saw that come up and think I was like, "Oh, good, going to be watching that." What's three boards, three billboards outside Missouri the other day? That was brilliant. Yeah, that's good fun. I really like that. Tell you what, Woody Allison was good in as well. Was the um, the was it called Zombie Land? The fun fair with all the zombies in. Oh, I, I've got that DVD at work. I love watching that. Really good. Well. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, it was a cracking film. Mm. I didn't expect much of it. I thought it was going to be a real like B movie thing, but it was actually really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kill of the week with the the old lady with the piano. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ten happens. Really happens. Special kingpin. I managed to milk your cow. <laughs> yeah, cow. Change the shoe. All right, Sean. Well, see you, Sean. We have a random question by John. Does anyone use this blue stuff? No, oh, I did ask a little way up. He's got some blue stuff and he wants oh, to know how to use it. Decals? I don't know. Oh. I, didn't know I didn't know what it was. I was hoping. Attack. Ecstasy? <laughs> Flagra? Yeah. Yeah. Beat me to it then, Tim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's some bad jokes. There's it's got some of the blue stuff. Some of that blue stuff for making molds. Oh, can I use my uh, make the parts? That's the bone What was it? Did plasma do? Don't know. That stuff. I think he did. Yeah. I think have a look on Plasma's channel, John. I think he's got a video on there, but I'm not sure. If not look on YouTube, John, there should be videos on there, bud. Somewhere. Search the internet. Interweb. Interwebs. E my one. E my Hello, my modelling friends. Right, and seeing as we drop below 100 viewers and we're a bit quiet, I think we'll, uh, we'll call it a night. Not bad. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, keep right. an eye out the weekend. There should be some videos up on ISM. Hopefully, Gray will get one up on his channel as well. Yeah, hopefully that should be up tomorrow. Maybe I'll get one up on somewhere. Um, uh, make sure you join us next Friday for our Christmas show. Be there. Yeah. We'll be square. Yeah, our next Friday show. Christmas jumpers out the ready. Christmas jumpers, hats, the flashing lights. You name it, it'll be there. Um, so make sure you join us. Um, uh, that's it.
Have so a great week, everybody. Good weekend, everyone. We'll catch you all next week. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.